Hello everyone, I am Tacit and welcome to the Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout Livestream. It's been a little while since we streamed this, I believe about a week and a half. Last time i pretty sure was on Halloween, if I'm not mistaken. However, we got a pretty big update today. Then the batting a new stage, they added a billion new fun variants, uh, many of which I have no clue what they're going to be. And uh, they made a really nice shop update, so um... All the old items that used to be on the top featured items of the shop are now at the bottom. What's nice about this is, uh, for one, this never release skin is now available. However, the other pretty good thing about this is all the old skins that were released at the beginning of the game, which I think might actually just be Bulletkin <laughs> now that I think about it, will actually be obtainable because I never started playing this game until the third week. So I was never able to get the Bulletkin uh, bullet skin, which at one point, or technically uh, prior to today, was actually the rarest skin in the entire game that was actually obtainable. And uh, yeah, we could finally get it. So it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, this is for from uh, Enter the Gungeon, if you uh, don't know what franchise that is from. And we can finally get it. We're definitely going to be using it at least once today. Uh, also, I never got to show the Godzilla skin because we never actually uh, did a stream since then. It came out for my birthday, oddly enough. Uh, it was available from the 3rd until the 6th, but now always, given that it's uh, the bottom shop can now be anything. But yeah, here's the Godzilla skin. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I've been using it quite a bit, actually. Uh, also, they ended up changing the naming system in this game. No longer are we Fall Guy number 1618. Now it's literally just randomly generated, though we could re-randomly generate it if we want. But um, Jittery Popping Horse is what we currently have. And I just made our uh, title smoothie generator, uh, our operator, because we were using um, a smoothie skin earlier. Actually, I still have the Halloween thing set up from when we were doing the Halloween stream. That's funny. But we'll mess it up around with a bunch of outfits, but I figured I'd show the Godzilla one first. Definitely got to do the bullet as well, now that we finally have it. But yeah, let's get into things. Also, one other really nice feature, uh, aside from the fact that we now have Medieval Madness, because they added another Medieval stage due to the fans, uh, we now have a multi queue system. So let's say we want to play Medieval Madness. But we don't want to have to wait a billion hours to actually get into a match if a lot of people aren't queuing into it. What we can actually do is queue into the main show and whatever the side show is. As well as if we ever get a third option, that third option as well. And we won't have to wait forever to actually get into the match. So that's going to be pretty cool. So uh, that's much better than the system they had before. So we will queue into both and which one we get is which one we get. But um, this will make it so we don't have to wait as long. Which should be pretty nice. Anyways, let's get into things. Let's see what these new variants are. I played one this morning. But I didn't have too many new variants in it, though, um, almost every stage did have something. I just wanted to play through one stage just to make sure that the controller was working. Oddly enough, I actually won it, too. It was a Fall Mountain win. Actually, I should probably update the number theoretically with that win. <laughs> I guess that technically counts. Let me update the number, I guess. Because I did get one win literally before we started, and that was technically today, even if it was off-stream. Uh, let's see, final stage is one. I'm counting it. <laughs> And, uh, Total Crown's already updated. And wins today is one. There we go. That was a Fall Mountain win. I literally just did it to test controls and we got a win off of it. It was pretty funny. I did it just to make sure it didn't ruin my mouse controls again. Because last time they did a big, big update, it did. <laughs> and I had to reset all my controls. I was kind of just making sure everything was working correct. Oh yeah, he has a car in his hands. from terrorizing the city. I mean, it's a pretty cool skin. It's also one of the only few skins in the entire game where the black face actually looks good. Because it's not like dark enough to work with most skins. But for this skin, since it's a little bit of like a blackish purple color, it actually works perfectly. Works much better than the inverted mask, which some people wear with it. All right, let's go see what we get. Let's see what these variants are. We're so close. Three more people, please. So close, yet so far. I wonder if we're going to get into Medieval Madness. Um, they did reduce the amount of times that Medieval Stages come up. Uh, mostly because two weeks ago or so, they drastically increased the rate. And they kind of realized they drastically increased the rate a little bit too much, so they brought it down a bit. Also, they lowered the chance of getting... Oh, here's the new stage, Big Fans. This is the uh, only fan stage. <laughs> but uh, I probably shouldn't say that word too much on YouTube. We'll probably get demonetized. But um, yeah, the whole entire fan, the entire stage is only fans everywhere. It's pretty funny. 
But um, they also reduced the rate of two other courses, uh, other than the medieval stages, unless we got this mode, which might be all medieval stages. They reduced the chance of getting tail tag, and they also reduced the ch uh, chance of getting memory match. But yeah, let's go see the stage. This is the first time I ever played it. Uh, let's see. Looks pretty straightforward. Actually, it reminds me a bit of how the ending of, um, of what's it called plays. It kind of seems like Seesaw combined with, um, Jump Showdown is what this stage reminds me of a lot. Alright, okay, so far we're leading, so that's a good sign. But I see a little thing that's gonna knock us off soon. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, I think we can make that. And then we can go over there. And then we can go over here. And then we can hit ourselves right in! Perfect! Oh gosh, we got a double hitter here. Okay. We gotta time this correctly. Good. Good. Oh no, someone just took a lead on us. Oh no, my alarm went off! I forgot I even had an alarm set this morning. I woke up way before it. Hold up, one second. You can probably hear it so loud. One second, where is it? Yeah, I set an alarm this morning because I had a feeling we'd have an update. Uh, but I woke up naturally way before then, so didn't need it. Fail. Oh, speaking of that, did I forget to buy up the top of the shop? I just realized that. We got a new Viking outfit today. I don't think I'm going to wear it, but uh, <laughs> we did get a new Viking outfit today, technically. I was so focused on the Bulletkin outfit that I didn't even notice. Oh, he failed! No! <laughs> he went the wrong direction, too. Come on, that's someone with a lot of crowns, too. Though I'm pretty sure it's his first time playing this stage. Like, almost every single time we play this stage, a lot of people are playing it for the first time. It was our first time for it today. I oh, know, he might actually lose. He's in good skins and he's actually going to lose. So, it looks like everyone is behind. <laughs> people are not used to this stage yet at all, gosh. This is almost going to take longer than, uh, than, um, than what's it called? Than, um, Seesaw. <laughs> at least today, anyways. As people get better at this stage, it probably won't take a billion years to finish. But, um, this might actually go to time. I think they only have two minutes left. There's an invisible timer on every stage. Just to make sure stages don't go literally forever. And, um... Yeah, they might actually hit it. <laughs> Seems like it's going for a while. I'm sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Theoretically, even though it takes longer, um... If it does go to time... That's probably one less stage we have to do. Because, like, 30 people is how many you would have after you've done a third, second stage. So if people take so long to finish this stage, we might actually, um, basically be one whole level ahead. Come on, go to time already, please. Why must the timer be so long? There it goes! Yes! We got down to 29! We just hit time. Oh yeah, let's see what all the random names are. Look at all those random names. We got a Vivid Jeweled uh, Charmer, we got a Happy Feeling Kitten, we got a Clumsy Boss Spirit, we got an Infamous Rocking um, Acrobat, we got an Unsteady Light Coffee. <laughs> We're gonna have to read all the random names in between every single stage. That's really funny. But yeah, that was supposed to be a 42 qualify and only 29 qualify due to timer. That was funny. And then we got wall guys. Oh yeah, this is definitely the medieval um, queue. We got into the medieval queue. Which brings all of the medieval stages. However, there's no medieval final. So final is probably one of any final in the game, I would assume. However, every stage prior to it should be a medieval stage. Which means we probably get egg scramble after this. Oh no, we can't because it's a 14 qualify. Oh no! Wait, does it go straight to final after this then? It might go straight to final. Uh, can we even reach that from here? Oh, now we can. <laughs> now we can! Oh, I barely made that jump. Uh, let's see. We gotta go all the way over here. Gosh. I think we made first, though. No! Oh, I almost missed that jump. That would have been a massive fail. We got it, though. Give me that first place. No variance on that stage, though. 
I'm kind of glad that that stage doesn't have variants. Though I'm not sure if it does or not. But, um... It'd be kind of weird if it did. <laughs> because it's kind of standard how it works. Not sure how you would really add a variant. Unless you added, like, random axes somewhere. <laughs> Ah, thank you, David. That's quite a while. But I've been starting to stream quite a few other games. Of course, we've mostly done Gems of War in the past, and we still do. But I've uh, been doing Fall Guys a decent amount. We'll be doing a lot the next few days. Uh, Age of Calamity, we're going to be doing a huge amount next weekend. Uh, not this week's weekend, but next week's weekend. On the 20th, 21st, 22nd. We are going to be playing, like, non-stop Age of Calamity. Fall Ball. Okay, this I don't think got any new variants. But I already had a pretty good amount of variants to begin with. So we didn't get to see too much new stuff yet. The only thing we got to see was the new stage. But it's only our first, first queue. We'll find more. What is Age of Calamity? It's um, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. It's kind of like a hack and slash game based on the Legend of Zelda. Particularly the Breath of the Wild kind of uh, storyline. And it's actually canon to the storyline as well. But it should be a really good game. It's going to be Nintendo's second biggest game of the year, most likely. Their biggest game being Animal Crossing, of course. Do I want to hit this ball? I think the answer is yes. Though I failed somewhat at it. And then he failed making me fail. And then we all failed making everything fail. And then they probably score. Okay, I think we got it. Okay. Defend that. I should be fine. Also, our offense already scored two, so that's good. Normally, our offense takes like a billion years before they decide they want to score zero. <laughs> and then they just stays at zero forever. Also, everyone around us wearing a Viking outfit. Why do you do that for? No! Why'd he hit it so weirdly? Okay, I'm going on offense. Yeah, they scored on us. Where's the other ball? Come on, get it over here. Good. No, my own ally! You blocked it! Come on, someone. Why is no one on my team in that general vicinity? Oh, I tried to get a follow-up poke. <laughs> that wasn't that hard. Hopefully you can get the follow-up on it. Come on. No! Wait till they move it over here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, it should be fine. Just make sure they don't score at this point. And now they have, like, no chance. Come on. No, we're not gonna get that score. It doesn't matter, though. We already won. We already won. And this should go straight to final. With seven people? Yeah, seven people. Let's see what we get. I got, um, what was it? Fall Mountain this morning. A nice RNG based win. Let's see what we get for the next one. Keep up that 100% rate. Oh, nice. Jump Showdown. They finally fixed Jump Showdown fully. It's the glorious sh uh, Jump Showdown we know and love. Or should I say Grab Showdown? <laughs> Uh, hopefully we don't get grabbed. Though we just played a team game, so we shouldn't really have that many enemies. Like, we never had a stage this entire time to have an enemy with. So we shouldn't have any. Though Grabber's gonna grab. So they might still grab us. Okay, let's see which side's gonna be more advantageous. Depends what next tile falls on where we'll stay or move. Uh, we It's actually better to be on their side. I probably wasn't going to risk that jump based on where it was falling. Okay, now it's better to be right here. As long as we don't leave this tile unless it falls. Alright, now we're fine. And then that one falls. Okay, one dead so far. We still got six other ones to kill though. Or five other ones, I mean. <laughs> unless we want to take art ourselves too. Okay, so we're down to a double tile, no split. Who to attack? 
Who to attack? Oh gosh, I might have just killed myself. No! <laughs> the fail is strong. I didn't realize it was moving that slow there. Rippity. I was staying back there so he wouldn't get grabbed. But, uh... <laughs> this is why I should stop playing, assuming everyone's a grabber. It makes me do very weird moves on that stage. The fail is strong. The fail is very strong. <laughs> oh, we lost our stage. Oh, well, let's keep going. We didn't even get to grab anyone. The fail is very strong. Let's see if we get the medieval one again. If we do, we're almost always going to start with the um, with the uh, little hip fans. I can't believe it eliminated so many people though. Only twenty nine got through out of uh, out of sixty, which means half the lobby after like a five minute timer. It's not even that hard of a stage, it's just because it's so new, people aren't used to it. Though it uses pretty much mechanics from other stages for the most part. Okay, what are we gonna get? Normal variants or, um, or medieval? And if we do get normal, we'll get to see quite a few new variants up for them. Most of the new variants are on the normal side, not on the medieval side. And if we get the medieval side, we'll probably see the new stage. We could probably see the new stage regardless. I wouldn't be surprised if they increased the rate of it slightly. Just so people would see it. Yep. Oh, we might have the medieval uh, thing again. That we started with a different uh, starting one. This stage everyone already got used to by now. I haven't ever seen anyone die to time on this stage. It's not long enough. Oh, so we do have a new variant here. We have axes on the top. Interesting. It's not much of a change though. It is a change. It is indeed a change. Also, I saw a little hammer in the middle there earlier this morning. In that first section that we were just in. Where you could basically jump down and try to hammer yourself across the stage. It only skips that one section. But it does save you about uh, two seconds if you get it. I didn't try for it. But it does seem pretty safe. I think almost everyone that went for it got it. Yeah, the only new variant here is that one single axe it looks like. Which, uh, more often not... Oh, the, uh, bridges are also moving differently. Oh, I see. Interesting. So all the bridges stay towards the top, so you have to deal with the axe. So it's not just the, uh, axes, but it's also the drawbridge speed is adjusted. So you have to deal with the axe. So it does make all bridges always active, though. With that variant. Since it actually doesn't matter what bridge you go on. They're all technically good bridges. You just have to knock an axe. A dramatic red friend. Some of these random names are pretty funny. He's red. Hopefully he is friendly. Otherwise he's gonna grab us. Come on, only four spots left. Two spots left. Will you get it? I think you got it. Oh, that lizard guy didn't make it. Aww. Oh. Forty-two. Oh, we got Sonic in the lobby. Okay, how many Godzillas do we have? We got like four Godzillas, five Godzillas. Godzilla is the most recent um, high crown cost skin, so he's probably still going to be used quite a bit until another one comes around. I believe this Friday we're getting Untitled Goose as the next one, so we're going to see a billion geese soon. That one costs ten crowns and it's coming, I believe, exactly on Friday. I think it stays Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, it will be this Friday, exactly. 
Jinxed. I wonder if they added any variant to Jinx. I don't think they would have. Uh, looks pretty normal to me. Pretty normal, awful stage. <laughs> We're in midair. Archer grabbing him. Not like it matters too much. Oh, 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 I didn't realize that's the guy. He's standing right over there. Oh no, he moved to the middle. Oh, we're technically winning right now. Still technically winning. Come on, where's all my infected people? There's like two or three people over here that you can grab. You should probably disperse from the other guy who's doing the same strategy. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh gosh, I gotta get out of here. That's sketchy. Oh gosh, there's the other person who's alive on our team. Ah, look at that! Both of us right next to each other. Sonic and me. We got it. We carried our team. Similar strategy, both of us. And neither got touched. Oh, someone left on our team. Perfect. Otherwise, it would have been a 20. Or maybe it was already that number. But normally it's 20 versus 20 for Jinx. Oh, so I don't think Block Party got any new variants. We're not getting any new variants, they just... Unfortunately. We're still seeing some here and there. But uh, we're not getting any of the ones that got a lot of new variants. I think the two most interesting one is probably going to be the change they made to... Uh, Jump Club, which is the non-final version of Jump Showdown, and um, oddly enough, Perfect Match. If we actually get the variant, it might actually be fun. Because normally it's a rather dull mini game. They did decrease the chance of it happening, though. But they added one very fun variant for it. Possibly multiple, but definitely at least one really good one for it. Which might actually make it one of the hardest stages in the game. Especially since it's unlimited uh, elimination. Did my uh, chat stop for the on stream? It shouldn't have stopped. It should still be working. It's somewhat uh, blocked by the crown though. Which might seem like why it stopped. But maybe it did actually stop. Also, can you not grab? Gosh, that yellow unicorn's a grabber. Say all oof. <laughs> oh gosh, we got this. This is the uh, really high elimination one. Though with less people, it shouldn't really eliminate much. There right, we're in. Hello, DS. Welcome. All right, it should go straight to final. Maybe one more stage, but it might go to final. It's low enough people that it can. Oh gosh, we got tail tag. I thought they reduced the chance of tail tag. That's not a reduction if we're still getting it at all. <laughs> oh, they added a new hammer. Hold up. Hold up. That's not there, normally. What are you doing there, Hammer? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's a great hammer. Hold up. Oh, there's one on this side, too. That is such an escape plan. That is like an... Okay, I gotta get this guy. He made an enemy out of me after grabbing me on the previous stage. You're so dead. I will hunt you down. Thank you for your tail. Now I must take the super big hammer. Mwahaha! <laughs> oh gosh, that is such a good escape plan. No, I failed! <laughs> I failed again, but that kind of worked. Oh no, I failed. <laughs> that worked enough to work. It did what I needed it to do. Get me out of here. No. Oh, gosh, I need an anti-grab on him. Aha! Thank you for my tail back, though I just got it restolen. I might actually lose this if I'm not careful. So few people. Good. Okay, we should be okay. Just need to get back into middle. Get away from that pigeon. Oh, never mind. He's a... He's good. He's friendly. He's a friendly pigeon. No, I missed! <laughs> I almost failed. Oh no, I wanted to go into the air to win. Luckily that pigeon was still in the tumble so he couldn't grab us after he lost his tail. Okay, final time. Oh gosh, this might go to Royal Fumble. Please don't go to Royal Fumble. We just had a tail game. We don't need two tail games. Oh good, jump shot out again. Redemption time! Oh yeah, good luck with that, DS. Yeah, the more pets you get, the more blue of those uh, things you get. Um, you only need 2,000. Each pet should give you about 50 to 100. Oh gosh, the grabber's still here. I didn't realize he made it. Yellow unicorn's a grabber. Doesn't mean the rest of them aren't a grabber. But we know for sure yellow unicorn is a grabber. Oh, oh okay. They're all grabbers. <laughs> What's new? You know what? I'm actually going to go to the other tile. But I don't want to go yet. Because I know he's going to grab me if I do. Okay, I'll go now. Oh, now I really have to go now. <laughs> Can you not grab? Thank you. Okay, we got two confirmed grabbers. The other two are just grabbers in disguise. Oh gosh, are we going to get double tile? I hate double tile. I've actually grown to like single tiles more than double tiles. <laughs> oh gosh, we got double tile again. Okay, let me not go all the way to back and auto kill myself again. However, I also don't want to get grabbed because we have way too many grabbers in this lobby. Okay, I already hear people grabbing. Yeah, the other guy's staying back because he knows. The grabber mentality is strong in this lobby. Gosh, he's even grabbing from back there. you got to be kidding me. He's an ultra grabber. Wait, did they all die? Wait, who's left? Oh, no, the grabber's still in. Uh, that's sketchy. You should grab kill the other guy, though. He's definitely trying to. How successful will be is questionable. <gasps> no! He anti-grabbed me properly! <laughs> Let's see if he actually wins. No! So unfortunate. Okay, he got lost, though. He at least lost. <laughs> he may have won the battle, but he did not win the war. <laughs> See, our same skin won. That still counts. <laughs> still got a win for the dinos. But yeah, he got an anti-grab on us. He got flown in the air, and we got hit off. Gosh, today's just not our day for Jump Showdown. Uh, let's see, final stages three. Or I should say grab showdown. That's all it is, <laughs> grabbing in competition. It is literally just a grabbing competition. May the best grabber win. At least our grabber got outgrabbed at the end. 
That's the problem with grabbing too. Like you might win a fight, you might even win a few fights, but if you lose even one fight, you lose the whole battle or the whole uh, crown. Okay, we got big fans again. The only fan stage. Well, I, the first time we had this, only 29 people out of uh, 60 made it through. It actually went to time. Let's see if that happens again. You could theoretically just stay on the final tile. And just keep Savatross spamming everyone. Which would be kind of funny. I might actually do that just for fun. <laughs> We'll see. So if it was anything like the first time, they're already going to take long enough that it might not matter. Oh gosh, I already failed. We got herded very hard. Why are they just standing there? I'll take the side fan. Grab him. You don't think I'm gonna grab him? Ah! Ha, ha, oh no! No! I failed. My grabbing is off today. We're missing all the vicious grabs. Oh, I was gonna grab him. Okay, let's stay on this tile for a little while and grab people. We might make too many enemies though. Hello, would you like to be grabbed? <laughs> Got him! Next. Wants to be grabbed. Wants to be grabbed. <laughs> I am really surprised I haven't been grabbed yet. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. We killed ourselves. Did I get him? I'm not even sure if I got him. I think it might have been worth it. Okay, I should probably start winning now before it actually goes to time. We can't see how the invisible timer is going. So we should probably just try winning already. After we get one more kill. Let's get the Sonic kill. We can't not go for the Sonic. Let's pretend we're going. No, yes! I got him! <laughs> and the pineapple guy. Okay, let's just win. There we go. Alright, we had our fun. Let's see how many people actually qualify. So the first time around, only 29 got through. We're at 25 right now. I think timer's in about another minute. Gosh, everyone is so bad at this stage. I did just release today, but still. Alright, looks like we got at least 31 this time. So more than the first time, at least. Yep, we got 30. I think one of them at the end got timed. So we got 30 through. So I have to lobby again. 29 the first time and 30 this time. Gosh, this stage kills a lot of people. Oh, actually, it went to 29. Okay, same amount both times. Funny. Double 29. Oh yeah, and then we get Slime Climb. I don't think so. Oh yeah, Slime Climb actually did get a new variant. It has the riskiest uh, hammer in the world if they add it. Let's see, did we get it this time? I'm not going to take it, I don't think. No, we didn't get it. But there's a hammer that can happen at the end of the stage there to try to steal first. Though if you miss it, you die. <laughs> I would say it's never worth going for. Oh, two or three people just died to herd. I almost did too. I was kind of close to the edge there. Let me through. All 
Oh gosh, she got in my way. Are we in third? I think we are. Oh gosh, they added more hammers here. That wasn't normal, was it? I don't recall there ever being that many hammers. There we go, first place. Give us that first. Man, it seems like more hammers than normal. Am I going crazy? Or did they add some more hammers to that section? Looks like more to me. Well, so after we get the um, Godzilla win, we need to go switch over to the Bulletkin and get our first ever Bulletkin win. Is there only one left? Go through. There we go. And we did get first place. Nice. That was pretty obvious that we made first. Sometimes someone sneaks like ultra far ahead. It's very rare though. Okay, 19 left. So this should be the second to last before final. Should go, should go straight into final after this one. Someone could theoretically go to final though. It's very unlikely. We can go to super crowded hexagon, but nope, we got hopes of legends. Let's see if we got a variant here. I believe there's various axes that can show up here. Yes, so there's an axe in the middle. Also, the gold ring is spawned immediately, which I don't think it normally is in the other variant. <gasps> okay, let's not mess this up. This is the freest gold ring I've ever seen. No! <laughs> Oh gosh, the fail is strong. Today's just not our day. Oh, the fail is ultra strong. Can I please get up here? Thank you. This is a really bad spot to jump from, though. There we go, made it. We have lost the freeze to free wings. Okay, we'll take this one. See where our next gold is. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna take these normal rings. Might as well just go for normals at this point. We're at three already. I actually missed that jump. Nah, someone's low from us. We got back up easily. Okay, he just took that ring from us. Wow, I'm just failing every jump right now. I just need two more. Or a gold ring. Or to stop failing every jump. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's gonna be just taken. Gold ring. Can we contest it? I think we can. <gasps> no, he made it up. He made it up. No, I hit it my head on the thing. <gasps> he did too, though. Hold up, hold up. We still have a chance. We got this. No. <laughs> oh gosh, we're actually gonna get eliminated. Oh, no, no, no. There's a gold ring. Hold up. Redemption time. Yeah! <laughs> what a fail. Gosh, I failed like two or three gold rings. They were all pretty much free. Luckily, we got one in the end. Oh gosh, tail tag again. I thought they reduced your chance of getting tail tag, not made it more common. Oh, a new variant. We got a spinner. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. I actually kind of like this tail tag stage now. Ooh. 
This will be interesting. Let's stay in the middle. This can't middle. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Bad idea. The middle is very dangerous. I wonder what would that look like with a lot of people in the lobby. An interesting area. There's a lot you could do with that area as far as out plays. You can also sabotage other tails if it's all tails in the middle. Oh gosh, how did he not grab me? Oh gosh, I'm taken. Yep. <laughs> oh gosh, the timer. Yes! No! 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 <laughs> we got sniped right at the end. Why do you have to be there? We could have gotten away. Ah, uh, good old tail tag. It's pretty much tail tag in a nutshell. They definitely did not reduce its rate. <laughs> if anything, they made it higher. They got in tail tag like half the round so far. That's pretty much tail tag in a nutshell. Okay, what do we go to get? I almost want to queue into the normal show just so we can see all the variants for it. Oh, good. We got normal show. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we don't really need to queue into it. We just got it. I don't think Hip Parade got anything new. Though it might have. We'll find out. Oh, yeah. There actually is a new variant. Though this isn't the new variant. I forgot. You can have those big um, uh, things in the middle with all the spikes. It looks like we got normal balls, though. Look at all the names. Cloudy Good Tomato. Smashing Racing Runner. All the weird names. Now, which side is quicker? It looks like right side. Oh, now we're gonna make the first cycle. Oh, I need to get into one of those compartments. There we go, we got it. Easy. Now to get a good straight. To grab or not to grab. No, I got angled. Oh, no first for us. Nice quick first stage. On to next one. If it'll load. Did we disconnect? I don't think we disconnected. There we go. Night FIFA. And 
Any new variants anywhere? Oh, we got the hammer I was talking about. Another variant. Let's try for the hammer once. See if we get it. So there's a little small hammer that's on a lot of stages. It's right over there. It saves about one or two seconds. Assuming you get it first try. And I failed. <laughs> I'll try it again. There we go. Look at that hammer. Hits you right into the checkpoint. If you get that first try, it saves about two seconds. And you don't have to deal with the herd at that point as well, which is a really good advantage. Oh gosh, I got hit. I'm just gonna wait. Play it nice and safe. Oh, there is a variant over here. The bridges are moving very weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> Isabel, that's funny. He sent us his Among Us friends. I wonder if he is, has been playing Among Us a lot. I would assume so. I played it once on stream. I mean to do a dedicated stream to it at some point, but uh, we'll see. I definitely much prefer uh, Fall Guys. Nice, fun platforming. So much less stressful. a daisy are gold rings normally out by default on all these hoops level they are I don't recall them being in the previously I'm not on the gold ring side actually I don't have any rings near me gosh that one on red is AFK that's good for us Why is everyone huddled over here? <laughs> Three people there and we win it out. Ah, he got us. I can take this one though. Uh, we are in second place. I can change with a single gold ring. In our favor or not in our favor. There's like a billion people fighting here. Look at our team one out there. We won out here. Doesn't matter how many there are if we win all of them. I'll let him go for that. There's a lot of recoil on it. No, he beat us out there. I should have dove. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah. Uh, let's go in quicker. Actually, made us miss it. Got it. Barely. Oh, we should be safe at this point. I still got to disable red just in case. Ah, he beat us out. Got a camping case gold ring. Can't let red have it. Oh, there's a gold ring. Uh, yellow got it. That's fine. Oh, or our team, our team got it, actually. Nice. Really? We were ahead of him. Oh, well, we won. Well, not first place, but enough to not lose. Okay, wall guys. I have yet to see a new variant for wall guys. I'm not sure if he even has any. I guess they could add axes to the top of the things. 
But, uh, nope, looks normal to me. Obviously, it technically always is a variant, at least in the sense that all the blocks are somewhat random. Not exactly random, but, um, you know, it's different each time. Why is he going all the way over there? I'm pretty sure you can make it from here. I am pretty certain that is makeable. Or not. <laughs> okay, this one definitely is. Okay, maybe that's why he did it that way. <gasps> no, I fell. Oh no. We're gonna start getting herded soon. I think we have enough of a lead that we're not gonna get herded yet. Alright, we'll take out that guy. Just to be mean. <laughs> He might try killing us on final stage. That's probably a very bad idea. <laughs> yeah, he just made it too. He didn't even eliminate him. Okay, we gotta watch out for the can. We just made a very big enemy out of the can, if he remembers. <laughs> Okay, we got Fall Mountain. This was our only win today. Oh yeah, Orb Weaver is very annoying in Gems of War. I guess like infinite summons, if you're not careful. Wait, right, please tell us we got first row. There's enough obstacles that even if we didn't, we should hopefully be okay. Okay, good. We get a really lucky chance of almost always getting first row. Not getting first row is like auto lose on this stage. But we seem to almost always get it. Luckily, the can can't really sabotage as much on this stage. He also went the other side, so we're kind of safe from him now. Oh gosh, he actually got ahead of me and then bumped right into me. Oh no, I'm actually going to lose now. Too many people are bumping into me. No, grab him! Yes, no! <laughs> no! Too many people bumped into us. That dragon really made us lose, even though he also didn't win. He bumped us when we were going through the thing, which disabled us for like two, three seconds. It hurts. But it happens. We must try again. And that'll be the 120 crown mark as well. Oh, so that reminds me, I need to go buy stuff in the shop. We never bought out the top. And we got the draconic color. I need to wear, wear, uh, wear that with something. Kind of reminds me of that marshmallow color. Except without the gold. Right, I didn't update the number. It was four finals. We're not doing too good on finals though. <laughs> We got a lot of really weird ones. <laughs> that Fall Mountain should have easily been a win. And the two jump showdowns were just really grabby. Yeah, it's always cool to see new variants. We haven't even gotten most of them yet. We could probably stream for a few more hours and still not even get all of them. Oh, right, this is the first time we even got Dizzy Heights today. I don't think Dizzy Heights has any new ones, but you never know. It's pretty normal. 
Well, it still has variants on it, but uh, <laughs> normal for uh, for considering the patch that already happened earlier. Like, nothing in this new patch changed this, I don't believe. Or at least not this current variant that we're on. Even though it does have some variants in it. Oh gosh, I got bumped too much. I'm getting herded very hard today. Mostly on finals, but uh, <laughs> also just in general. I thought all the balls were synced for a second. But now they just happen to randomly all be synced. For one shoot. Gosh, how did we get bumped there? At least we're off cycle for the Wrecking Ball. I actually lost an infallible streak to that before. We have gotten infallible, but one of our streaks was uh, ruined off of a Wrecking Ball on the stage of all stages. Because it was a 29 qualify and it just set us back too far. I said, hello, King Larry. Welcome. Why do you want me to say oof? Poof. You're enjoying Mr. Green. I think we should vote off Mr. Green. Too suspicious. Oh gosh, why? Why? <laughs> why? Why is today just the day of getting herded? I'm never gonna go bother for the shortcut because uh, the respawn thing could put us on the wrong side at this point. No, don't grab me. What do you do? Oh. Oh, did the dragon leave? Rage quit. The good skin guy might actually lose. But he's not wearing the bottom. But maybe he wanted a solid bottom to go with it. He's gonna lose though. He's gonna get eliminated. Oh no! What is that guy doing? He could have. That guy who grabbed him could have literally just won by just going forward. Why did he do that? He lost because of it and let the uh, good skin get in. That was a really weird move. All he had to do is literally go straight. Oh, Jump Club. Oh, please give us a new variant of Jump Club. I know we have it. I'm not sure if we're going to get it. Okay, I don't think we did. I know there's a fruit variant of this now, but I don't see any cannons. 
Unless they spawn out of literally nothing. But yeah, I don't see any cannons, unfortunately. I think this is just normal jump club. So we'll find out in a second when we see random fruit or not. <laughs> that seems like normal jump club. They would have a cannon here otherwise. Yeah, it seems like normal jump club. Aww. We didn't get the variant version. We will eventually. Whenever an update occurs, they need to make it so all the variants occur more often. It takes so long to cycle through them. Like a normal player that might only play for like an hour or two, which we normally play much longer than that. Like we're an hour in, and while we have seen a lot of variants, we by no means have covered even close to all of them. I guess that's kind of by design. Because I obviously don't want everyone, I guess, to already see them all immediately. Because it's more fun seeing them over a uh, long period of time. Even though we'll probably see them all today by the end of the stream. <laughs> or at least a good majority of them. herded there. I feel like grabbing someone. Got it. Oh, he didn't die though. No! He didn't die. Now he did. <laughs> I had to finish what we started. I couldn't let him live or he would have been, we would have been too suspicious to him. Oh, that hurts. He is very salty. He can see the salt in his eyes as he drops. <laughs> we could not kill him. Like, after I missed him the first time, we, could, we couldn't let him live. He would have tried killing us at the end if we, uh, if we didn't finish him. And luckily there were almost no witnesses, so no one really saw we were a grabber. Alright, what's the path here? Um... Hmm. There's no auto win at the end. Getting there quickly actually won't matter. Because you gotta set it up. So we can actually take our time as long as we're not too far behind. As I say that, we're in second place. Okay, we're gonna have to move something. Why are you doing that? Really? Fine, I'll go move this tile then. Wait, I should be able to make it. And there's our win. And one guy already got ahead of us because he took it from the top as we were moving into position. We're technically first. We set up that win for him. <laughs> we had the first one through after it was set up. And now we wait for the rest of them. I know, he stole my block. I was going to use that block. I think he put it over to the side so he could get to the other one. Over to the right. Oh, that guy finally got eliminated. No, he actually made it. That guy who got a free win on the first stage when he should have been eliminated actually made it to final. I'll have to be the one who eliminates him. If we get jump club, I 100% have to eliminate him. I don't even care if we win. I just want to eliminate him. <laughs> but we should try winning, though, obviously. We need those wins. Though we have so many crowns. We, we mostly just play for fun these days. I don't really care too much if we get a win or not. We have a surplus. Any time we have a surplus of over 100 crowns, I feel like we're going to be fine for a while. Gosh, we got Fall Mountain again. Watch him actually win after he got in the, like, free first place. In, uh, or not uh, free first place, but uh, the free uh, last place in the uh, first stage. That should not have been a ranking for him. He should have been eliminated on the very first stage. But because one person let him go through, he's in the final now. Oh, gosh. Why is it doing that again? I hate when it does that side one. Oh, no! He just got hit! Oh, gosh. That just set us back so far. That is very unfortunate. I don't think we have a Yetus either, so we can't even go for, like, a shortcut thing. We're so far behind.
No, we're getting herded so hard in every possible instance. Okay, we're definitely not getting that. So luckily that guy didn't get it either. <laughs> also, we got no hexagon today. We're not getting any like the really skill-based ones. Low jump showdown is, but it's turned into a very, very grabby mess <laughs> these days. It's a lot of fun. But no win. Unfortunate. We must try again. At least we get to see a bunch of stage variants on it along the way. I don't think any of the finals got new variants, though. Which is kind of a good thing. <laughs> you need those to be more consistent, not less consistent. But there we go. <laughs> we could just go after everyone, like, in the movies. We've been going for a couple pretty vicious grabs. We got one pretty vicious that stage on the, uh, on the purple ninja guy. I've generally only been going for safer ones, though, on prior stages. Because you don't want to make too many enemies. Because if you get jump showdown, you pretty much auto-die if you have too many enemies. Also, even on something like Fall Mountain, if you made, like, a really, really big enemy, someone will literally just grab hold you. And then you have no way of winning. Neither did they, but, uh... <laughs> You, like, auto-lose because you made an enemy. I've had that happen on Fall Mountain many times. Where all they do is just grab you at the beginning because they're so salty. <laughs> and then you both lose. And in those cases, you have literally no chance of winning. Oh, we got a full lobby. Nice. It looks like we might have gotten a Knights um, uh, games. Oh, hold up. What on earth is this variant? Wait, what? They're using an axe as a Yetus. Where you could, like, hit yourself up with the axe. What on earth is this variant? Do we have a hammer there? No, we don't have a hammer. What on earth is this variant? Oh, wait, never mind. It's spinning the wrong way to get a hit off of it. Never mind. So I gotta jump here and cut over and then jump up and then do the same thing. Jump here, move over, jump up. Okay, good, we made it. Nice. Okay, now we wait. I'm liking the variants for this stage. Pretty cool variants. Okay, it looks like the draw bridges are normal. And we got our first place. Now, if only we could do that for the final. Ta -ha. What time is it by me? It's uh, 10.32 a.m. Very early in the day. Very, very early. The day has just started. Up, see you among us. Catch you later. We have voted green out. <laughs> Wow, some people are still trying to get past that section. I guess this section is the noob killer. It has all the awfulness of people trying to learn how physics works. But in a stage that isn't Seesaw. <laughs> Green was definitely the imposter. I was with a full lobby too. Why we still have 43 left. I think you can only ever have 43 if it was a 60 start lobby. Okay, we got big fans, a new stage that they added today. So, so far, both times we got the stage, only 29 qualified when it was the first stage. So, let's see how it happens with the second stage. Because so far, it timed out twice. But we got it as a first stage, the two times it timed out. Let's see what it does this time. Oh gosh, I'm in a bad spot. 
We're in a really bad herd position. Oh gosh, they are strong. <laughs> I grabbed him and died myself. That was strong. Okay, let's just play this normally. Until we catch up. Oh, I couldn't get a grab on him. Or at least not a grab that would kill him all. I can right here, though. <laughs> oh, the salt. That monkey's going to want to take us out so badly later. Hopefully there's another Godzilla in this lobby. Otherwise we're making a billion and a half enemies. No! I was hoping that would hit a Snow White. That wouldn't knock us off. It's the worst we've done on this stage so far. Well, I'm not really too concerned with going too quick. Because we're just going to grab people at the end anyways. Alright, now we start grabbing people. I think we still got three minutes left on the timer. Got him. <laughs> Next. <gasps> no! I got got. Alright, we should probably start trying to qualify now. This is a lower qualify number after all. Oh, I should go for at least one more vicious kill though. Kill the pineapple. Oh no, I killed myself too. Okay, let's just try for the win at this point. Oh gosh. Gotta be careful. We might have over sabotaged. I think we're still fine. One more sabotage? No, we'll play it nice. There was, he wouldn't have fell and fallen down. Okay, let's just take our win. We had our fun. I just realized why it's like that right there. The sun from the window. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I not move the screen all the way? It's like, no, this is the sun. Putting a light on my green screen. That's a really bad spot for a window. I was going to wave to get rid of suspicion and then kill someone. <laughs> okay, he got to kill the witch. The wicked witch. Watch out for her. She's going for kills. That one. Got him. Easy. Okay, I don't think the Wicked Witch died, though, unfortunately. I don't think we'll have an opportunity to kill. Nope. I didn't grab anyone. <laughs> we only got two kills out of 13. That's not too suspicious. So that witch is super suspicious, the one right above me. She is grabbing like crazy. I'm pretty sure she got like three or four kills. I wasn't really trying for kills though. But all the easy ones we took. And after the uh, cat grabbed us and he was easy to kill, I just figured why not. Alright, what team are we on? Okay, no variants here. I think it's only six per team. So each person means a lot. It looks like we have a noob team. That's bad. Oh gosh, there's more gold eggs. <gasps> this is a new variant. They added a new variant for the stage. It's a six gold egg instead of uh, three. Can you not move the egg back right into us? What are you doing? Grab it. What are you doing? Why are you grab? Oh gosh, I got the awful team. Wait, what happened to my egg? What even just happened to it? Okay, I'm confused. 
But, um, wait, was it in my hand and I just didn't notice? It might have been. <laughs> Gosh, I got the bad team again. I hate it. Or must this always happen? I think we can still win, though. We got a lot of gold eggs. We got to protect. Every team has a lot of gold eggs at this point. Someone stop him. Someone stop him. What the what? Earth happened with that egg. Alright, blue looks like they're losing completely. And they're still trying to attack us for whatever reason. And failing at it quite miserably. Oh no. They got away with an egg. Come on, what is my team doing that they can't even stop? Like, I'm taking a whole person. And they're doing, there's like three people doing nothing on the other person. But yeah, the stage did get a new variant. That's pretty cool. Six gold egg. So even though we have three gold eggs, it's not actually every gold egg in play. Why grab me? <laughs> Oh gosh, where'd my egg go? Oh no, blue can still win this if we're not careful. Wow, blue actually qualified. Red lost. Blue caught up right at the end. What a comeback by blue. That's what happens when there's six gold eggs in play. Or nine, whatever it was. There's a lot of them. Oh good, the Wicked Witch got out. The Grabber got out. Good. Well played, blue team. Well played. You got rid of the Grabber. Well played, blue team. Man, that's a lot of gold eggs. There were five points each. Hey, we finally got Hexagon. Good. So if we lose this, it's completely our fault. <laughs> they also um, run really big change they made to this map. They fixed the falling through tile glitch on this stage. That was one of the things that got addressed today. There's a couple bug fixes. However, that's the most noteworthy one. You should no longer fall through tiles. So let's test it. Oh, yeah, we didn't fall. Though I don't think we had enough momentum, but still. I landed on a triple and we didn't fall. Right, we got some pretty good high ground right now. This is a surprisingly high amount of high ground. However, I don't really have a place to jump next. At least not a good place anyways. I can go for six, I guess. Oh gosh, he grabbed me, really. Luckily he dropped all the way because of it. He hurt himself more than he hurt us. Okay, I gotta cut this guy off, I think. Yeah, I got to. Let them fight each other. And then we can grab a few tiles. Okay, Dino's still above us. So we should cut off some of his stuff. So he doesn't really have somewhere to drop. Oh gosh. Over the fault. Everyone's eating each other. <gasps> no! They ate my entire path in front of me. Oh gosh, Dino. Don't you dare grab me right there. That would have been such a vicious grab. Okay, I'll let him have his own little section there. Because if we solo over, I'll state this. We all to one. I feel like someone's going to jump on my head. I sense it. I sense someone jumping on head any second now. Oh, why'd I do that? I actually got rid of some two tiles I could have gotten by doing that weirdly. Oh, we already won. <laughs> all that real estate. Told you. I called it way ahead of time. If we had all that real estate, we'd auto win. There we go. It was pretty obvious by that point. If no one contested that area that we won. I just didn't think it would be that quick of a win. Everyone was devouring each other. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's go change our outfit. Let's go to the bullet. That's uh, technically the rare skin in the game that can be obtained, at least prior to today. It's not anymore, but still, we'll wear the bullet. We finally have access to it. 
Wait, what? Connect uh, content update. A content update is required. Uh, this game will now restart. Oh, they need another patch. Cool. They must have fixed something. Okay, let me restart completely just in case. In case there's another little mini update. Okay, I think it already downloaded. And Wednesday is now at 2. All right, let's go restart the game. It looks like they did a mini update to the already new update. We already got the update, but um, they must have done a hotfix for something. No clue what. Maybe their Twitter says what. Let me check their Twitter real quick. What's Fall Guys Twitter have to say? Um, yeah, nothing about it. Well, actually, there's a video up, but it was already posted earlier. Maybe the game just didn't realize we were updated. I'm not sure. But anyways, let's go change our outfit. The update definitely already hit. But it might have been a hot fix for something. Okay, right, let's go Bullockin. This is from Enter the Gungeon. And it was previously the rare skin in the game. Or not the rare skin in the game, but rare says in um, most unobtained skin that could be obtained at any point. Or not at any point, but you know, at um, some point within the game. Because you have to have had 10 crowns within like the first week of playing the game to have this skin. But now you can get it at any point, which is pretty cool. We'll go put on both shows so we can get into a match quicker. And right, let's go bullet. We're now veteran <laughs> from that one animated series. First time I'm actually ever wearing this outfit. We'll probably wear it till we get a win. Which means we'll probably be wearing it for one round, hopefully only. <laughs> hopefully we'll get a win. And then we'll change to something else. No, it's a pretty cool skin though. I wonder if we'll start seeing a lot more of them soon. Because a lot of people didn't have access to it. Either because they didn't have 10 crowns when the game first started or because they didn't start back then. Because I started the third week that Fall Guys was released. And um, I never had a chance to buy the skin. It was actually the only skin I've been missing for a very long time. <laughs> 10 rounds later, still a bullet. That can happen. If we get unlucky, that very much can happen. So if we keep getting skill-based ones like Hexagon, it, we should be able to go only a few and get a win. Or even instantly. Hexagon and Jump Showdown are probably our best bet. Uh, Fall Mountain can be if we get lucky. Though we did lose both Jump Showdowns today. <laughs> one was due to being bad. The other one was just we lost a grab fight. Though we did the guy who we got in the grab fight with did lose. But we also lost. Feels weird seeing the bullet as us. I never really gotten to see it properly from the back. Because normally we're in front of all the other bullets. <laughs> so we only see the front of it. Gosh, the Sonic's... No! The Sonic almost killed me by slipping on the ground. Also, um, there might eventually be an uh, Among Us skin for this game. It's going to be like the biggest crossover ever. <laughs> Once they do it, it would have finally went full circle. That definitely needs to happen. They might be planning for like uh, Christmas time or something to do um, a Fall Guys skin in Among Us and Among Us skin in Fall Guys. Could you imagine? I feel like that will happen before the end of the year. Uh, that's a variant, if I've ever seen one. We got hammers, and we got circles of death. Oh gosh, we got a Yetus there still, too. What even is that end game area? <laughs> what am I even looking at? Oh, the front's normal, at least. I 
That end area, though. It's pure chaos. I think we take the Yetus and just hope we get lucky. No! <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta get a really far hit. You know what? I'm just gonna do this normally, I think. Oh, there's no fruit, though. I thought there'd still be fruit shooting out. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a billion fruit to make that absolute chaos. We got ripped off. There's no fruit. There's no fruit. There's no balls. There's no nothing shooting out. Oh, that variant would have been so much more fun if the cannon was actually doing something. It probably would have been a little bit too chaotic, though. But that'd be a good thing. <laughs> I still really want to see the variant of uh, Memory Match 1. We haven't even gotten to stage once. They did make it less frequent. However, they also made Tail Tag less frequent. We've already seen it three times. Fruit Shoot. First time we've seen this. Oh, there's an all banana version of this stage. That wasn't one of the spoiler things. Not sure what other variants are. But all banana variant is a thing. They won't know what the variant is until stuff starts shooting out. Also, did I just see hammers at the bottom? That'd be very annoying. If the fruit could, like, shoot back up. I think that's a hammer, isn't it? <gasps> it's side Edis's. Oh, gosh, no. No. Also, I think we got all watermelon. Based on the fact that there's all watermelon. Yep, he got it. Someone else got it, too. But not as good as the other guy. Up, oh, someone else went for it. And another one. If you fall behind, that's like your backup plan to catch up. You kind of have to go for it at that point. Oh gosh, I got watermelons. Luckily, it's 18 qualifies, so we should be fine. Oh wait, it just shots things that aren't watermelon. That's illegal. <laughs> it's supposed to be watermelon only. What even is this variant? You got the side hammers, watermelon only, kind of. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We already know for sure there's a banana only. I feel like banana only would be harder. Bananas tend to drag you down. Watermelons normally just make you tumble over. But a single banana, if it hits you right, can take you out from, like, any location all the way to the bottom. Because it kind of, like, hooks you in, like, a U shape and just drags you down. Rock and roll. Uh, this one already has a lot of variants. I don't think they added any new ones to this stage. Looks pretty normal. And the little hitter and the things. Yeah, it's it's a normal variant one. Has variants, but these were variants that already existed within the game. Alright, we got uh, five allies. Six total for our team. Let's go win. Come on, team. Push harder. Why is everyone trying to do the same side? You gotta distribute on both sides so it goes forward more. Alright, we gotta beat the little thing. <gasps> no! Yes! No! Yes! I right, stay to the side, stay to the side, stay to the side. There we go, good. Now push it to the side. What are you guys doing? To the right, to the right, to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right. Okay, I think we're fine. Kind of. Oh no, we just lost. Okay, we should be okay, hopefully. <gasps> no! I thought we already got it down, that's bad. Okay, good. We can work with this. We can work with this. Let's make sure blue doesn't win. Let's make sure blue doesn't win and we should be fine. No! Okay. That's sketchy. Wait, where's red? Okay, red's over there. Blue's over there. Okay, we gotta block red. Like, as long as we block red, I think we made it. Okay, we're in. That was a really sketchy stage, but we got it. I'll right, we'll grab tribute in a little bit. Gotta go get our crown with bullock in.
This could be final. It can also be tail tag. Jump showdown. Okay, we need redemption. This is our third jump showdown. We still haven't gotten a win on it today. This is our stage. There are, we have been wearing good skins. That might be why we keep losing this stage. You become so much more of a target if you're wearing a good skin on this stage. Like, for example, I want to take out that Sonic because he's wearing a good skin. <laughs> People have that same mentality towards us. Also, wasn't that the monkey we trolled on the very first stage? Or was that a different round? Alright, we're on the safer side right now. But it's not 100% safe yet. Oh, uh, why is that moving so slow? Okay, we're fine. Barely. Okay, we're not at the safest location now. We could actually die from where we're standing. If the current one I've uh, on falls... <gasps> the monkey grabbed us! Oh no, I wanted to go to the right, but the monkey made it so we die now. Gosh, that monkey just killed me. If this one falls, the monkey killed us. Okay, good. The monkey didn't kill us. You're a lucky monkey. <gasps> Gosh, why are we wearing a good skin? We're going to be targeted so much. No! <laughs> no, please, no. Good. Okay, now we just got to take out this monkey. No, monkey, why would you do such a dumb move? <laughs> he just wanted us to lose. Okay, we need to stop wearing good skins. <laughs> <laughs> we still need to get a win as a bullet. We need to stop wearing good skins, though. Makes you too much of a target. I hate when people make dumb moves like that. Grab suiciding is so annoying on that stage. Like, I don't mind grabbers, but grab suiciding, there's literally nothing you can do against. <laughs> Only nine. To it's not going to take us that many stages, gosh. That would have been a win if Monkey didn't grab suicide us. Because we can easily out jump a solo tile. They also did a small change where they fixed the uh, drop input thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to go take tribute for Gems of War. Let me go do that. Oh, we're waiting. Where's Gems of War? I haven't taken it all uh, stream yet. So I did take it right before we started. Or I think we did. Find out in a moment. Yeah, we got a new faction this Friday, too. We're going to need those gems for it. It's going to cost like a thousand something. Oh, it was on the calendar. Did we get the uh, anniversary thing today? Where's the calendar? Yep, gems of war anniversary. Nice. Oh, we started. What's the best tribute time? I'm not sure what you mean by that. You can take tribute every hour for Gems of War. We got a five second late start and we're still gonna get like seventh place. Oh no, new guy. He's just standing there.
Plus, I never realized how much more lit in this side is during the day. Because of the window there. Oh, we got a new variant. Nice. Gosh, we got like every variant on this stage. We got Wrecking Balls at the beginning. We got spinny things instead of um, of the gates in the middle section. And then we have um, different hammers for the end. We got every single possible variant on this stage, as well as all new variants. That's pretty cool. I don't think these hammers are any different, are they? They just seem somewhat normal. First place. However, that middle section was definitely new. The whole spiny uh, knockoff thing. I think it's called Big Bonkus or Thick Bonkus or something. Yeah, Thick Bonkus was its name. That is 100% canon. Uh, tribute doesn't accumulate in Gems of War. The gold that you get per hour accumulates to like a certain amount, like 30,000 or something. So you could go like days and that accumulates. But um, tribute never accumulates. It's why you take it every hour. And it's basically what allows you to free to play the game. Because that's where you get most of your gems throughout the game for free. Like, while playing Fall Guys today, we're probably going to get, like, 100 gems by doing, like, almost nothing. He bumped me up. I should grab him for that. I should probably kill him. He's being too good. He's being way too good to not try for a kill. Should I try for the hammer? That's the new hammer. It basically means auto death. Ah, oh, I didn't kill him. No! I wanted that kill so badly. <laughs> I wanted to wave at him. Oh, he didn't get her first. We know he's an enemy, though. Let's see if anyone goes for the hammer. I want to see someone go for it. Please, someone go for it. Someone go for it. There's literally no point to go for it. Please, someone go for it. Like, I think someone went for it and died. It's hard to tell. We can't just keep our camera over there. Please, someone go for it. Someone go for it. This is the most pointless hammer in the game that they added to this patch. It's basically to try to steal first place if you really want to. It's the only purpose it has. That or you could technically use it to get past the grabbers. Hey, he got it! The Sonic got it! The Sonic got the hammer. But yeah, you could use it. The reason they added it, I believe, was to bypass all the grabbers. So if you didn't want to deal with grabbers in this final section, you could take the ultra-risky uh, hammer. And if you get it, you win. You can also do it to steal first place. However, I really feel like it's never worth going for. Probably the riskiest Yetus in the game. The only one that's riskier is Fall Mountain's Yetus. Because um, on Fall Mountain, um, if you fail it, you lose a crown. <laughs> but you can also gain a crown if you do it very well. And of course in that one, you get eliminated if you miss. You don't respawn. What's our stage? Pick a stage. Any stage. Except that stage. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, gold ring in the middle. Where are we starting? What color are we? Are we close? Mm, yes, kind of. I don't think I'm close enough, though. Yeah, it's being contested by those two. Unless they both fail it somehow. <laughs> Which is very unlikely. Oh, gold ring already, gosh. Could have probably sniped it from them. Gold ring seems to be spawning very quick on this stage. Yeah, we're in the lead. I'll let him have that. Where's the next gold ring? It feels like it's like auto spawning. Oh gosh, I missed. Oh gosh, he tumbled me. Luckily, yellow team's losing. Got it. Our first gold ring of the rounds. Actually, it might be the first gold ring on Hoops of Daisy today. Not on the other stage, but on the, uh, not on Hoops of Legends, but on Hoops of Daisy, I think is our first one today. Right, we're in the lead. As long as we disable yellow, we pretty much auto win. Oh, I need that. Yep, got it. Two gold rings. See if we can get three gold rings this stage. Gosh, why is gold ring spawning so often? This is definitely a new variant. They never spawn this quick. Look, it's already spawned. They never spawn this quick normally. It's like auto spawn, respawn gold ring. Yep, there it is. Pretty much auto respawn. Please miss. Ah, no. I would have gotten if the uh, raptor guy didn't snipe it. There's a gold ring. It's over there. Come on, red team. You got this. Yep, we got it. Easy. Oh, you could score like 100 with how many gold rings are spawning now. Why did I do that? Oh, he made it. I was hoping he'd miss. All right, we can pretty much do nothing the rest of the time. <gasps> gold ring! No! I missed. The fail. No! We could have had that with one more second. Doesn't matter, though. They really caught up, though. They actually got all the way to 60. Yeah, that was definitely a new variant. They never spawn that quick. <laughs> oh, Dias, that's funny. Yeah, I hate when it respawns like crazy. It's always annoying. Very annoying. Also, I just realized, did I update for the previous final? I don't think I did. Oh, and we just got another final. Oh, no, we did. Never mind. Okay, right, let's go win. Let's go win the luck-based course. We got to go get our bullet can win. Then we'll change to a different outfit. One that won't get us killed by every grabber in this stage. Something nice and low-key so we don't get hit by everyone. Alright, so far so good. Just don't ruin it. Easy. The freest win ever. <laughs> that was such a free fall mountain. That was freer than free. But there we go. We got our bullet can win. I'm happy. There we go. That's basically a new skin. It technically isn't, but we never had a chance of buying it since it came out like the first week of the game. We didn't start till the third week. Ah, right, there we go. We have one with Bullet Can. Now we can change to an outfit that won't get us targeted like crazy. Let me go update the numbers first, though. Let's go a nice low-key outfit. Maybe we'll go Carmel or something. Uh, let's see. Actually, what other new outfits came out recently that are kind of low rarity? We got a new Goblin that I never showed, but it's not that interesting. They also added the Viking one today. Well, that one's also not too interesting. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go the Viking one. Why not? Uh, outfits. Where's the green Viking? The current uh, new one is the pink Viking. I'm not sure which one's even higher rarity. What rarity is the one in shop? Uh, that one is um, epic. Oh, they're both epic rarity. So there's no difference. Oh yeah, we got the new Draconic uh, coloration too. We might need to use that. Alright, let's go change our outfit to the old, uh, the new Viking. 
Uh, the green set's never been available until today as well. Actually, this one's probably rare because not everyone has it in their bottom shop if they don't have the shop bought out. Uh, where is the green Viking? Oh, it's probably under V. So he has two Vikings now. There's uh, a Valkyrie and a uh, Viking. So we'll go to Valkyrie. And we'll go to the bottom half of the Valkyrie. Or we can mix and match. <laughs> That's funny. We could mix and match them if we wanted to. <laughs> we'll go green, though. All right, let's go change the rest of our outfit to match. That depends. What color are we doing? Let's see what Draconic looks like. Where is it? Oh, it'd probably be under D's, wouldn't it? Uh, where's Draconic? All right, that's a new color that came out today. Interesting, it kind of matches with the orange. Oh yeah, this was the blush as well. Uh, blush was added uh, about a week ago. I never wore it, so let's just go with that. There we go. <laughs> we'll go with that. Actually, that would probably look better with the red viking, wouldn't it? Oh, it's actually pink. I didn't even realize that. The bottom is red, but the top is actually pink for it. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go that then. We'll go mix matched. Oh yeah, that determines what shield you get. What's the shield for the other uh, one? Oh, you know what? Let's go with the pink one, I guess. The shield actually looks cooler for the pink one. Yeah, they have different shields for each one, depending on which top you go. Right, I guess we'll use the new one. There we go. We're using basically everything that came out today. Because this color came out today and the top and bottom came out today. There we go. We'll run it at least once. Maybe we'll run it till we get a crown. But this is everything that came out today. Though there was no new pattern, but the um, the headpiece came out today, the bottom came out today, and the color came out today. Yeah, my, one of my pa uh, favorite personal uh, favorite outfits that don't get you targeted is uh, lava color with egg pattern. It basically makes you look like chocolate. And it only uses two pieces too. And they're both pretty low rarity. One's an epic and the other one's a uncommon. And doesn't use any other parts. Yeah, we won't get targeted for wearing this. We shouldn't. The only two high rarity things is the patterns legendary and the colors legendary. But most people don't realize what colors and patterns generally are higher rarity. Particularly colors I don't feel like people pay attention to. It's mostly top and bottom. Like if you're wearing a full legendary set that gets you targeted. But that's about the only thing that really gets you targeted. Oh gosh, we've got the Seasol variant of this. We did really good on it the first time, but we were also front running it. So we didn't really have any competition. <laughs> Hopefully we can front run it again. Let's see, where are we starting? Where are we starting? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> We're not front-running from this position. I should have taken a hammer. I didn't realize it was spawned. Okay, we're in an okay position. Gosh, someone already made it through. Oh, gosh, I got axed. Oh, yeah, we went through pretty smoothly. <gasps> they added hammers here, too. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta go for this. No, I missed. How did I miss that? What is this hammer? Uh, oh, gosh. I'm taking this hammer. I don't care how many tries it takes. We're getting this. Ah, we got... No! <laughs> we found the hole. <laughs> that hit us right in the hole. Gosh, I am trying until we get this. Oh, gosh. I missed the timing. Oh no, I got hit by something. <laughs> I have no clue what even it is there. Okay, I will get this. Really? <laughs> okay, let's not go for it. One nice try. Finally! No! Oh gosh, there's too many holes. I'm just taking this normally. 
I'm gonna be patient here. Not gonna risk it. Already far enough behind. <laughs> Hey, we made it through. Really? You're gonna grab us? That was a, such a needless grab. But yeah, that fish tank uh, piece looks really cool. The fish tank bottom. This guy's practicing it too. Oh, he got a really good hit there. He might actually win because of that hit. That was such a good hit. Oh, if he doesn't get qualified because of that hit. That was such a golden hit. I don't think he's qualifying though. Nope. Oh, that hurts. He got a perfect hit at the end. At least he got some practice in. As we did. Yeah, we'll probably switch to chocolate next for our next skin. Probably my favorite skin that doesn't get you targeted ever. And then maybe we'll do some random outfits by literally clicking a random button and see what we get. We can also randomize our name. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Too bad they don't let you put whatever for your name though. Hopefully we'll eventually get an update that will. It's weird because on PlayStation 4 you can, but on the Steam version they're like, no. No custom names. Really? How on earth did I miss that? Oh, I hit the respawn. Oh, you can still do a respawn on this uh, stage. Oh, you can still do the respawn thing on this stage. I love it. Oh, gosh. That's amazing. I wonder if it's worth it on this final section. It wasn't in the previous version. However, let's see if it's any different for this one. Oh, I didn't hit it. No. <gasps> okay, it's not worth doing for the final one. It's still the same. Uh, you don't want to take it on the final, but the other two you do. Oh, that set us back so far. All the time we saved. Oh, that was worth testing just to know for future reference. So it's worth... Do, do, you can still do the respawn thing, but it only is good for the first two, which is the same way that it was on the um, Seesaw. So basically, they took the same stage as Seesaw, but they put a bunch of different stuff and called it a different stage. But it says the same framework as Seesaw then. If that's the case, because they use the same spawning mechanic for it. I should probably be grabbing people. Oh, well, we're not going to make any enemies this time. We've trolled people enough on this stage today. <laughs> we'll let them have one pass. If we get it as a first stage, I'll probably troll more. But on a second stage, it doesn't seem as worth it. Because so far, every time we had it as a first stage, uh, only 29 qualified. Even though it was supposed to be 43 or 40 something. Both times it was 29. When it was a first stage. Which means everyone got timed out. Though we could still get timed out in a higher number. However, it has yet to happen yet. Or a lower number, I mean. I know, random name with a random outfit. That'd be really funny. We're definitely going to do it. Probably two rounds from now. Oh, also, that's the new goblin, by the way. That one right over there. I think it's called Orc. That pink one that he has. I never even bother wearing it a single time. Maybe we'll wear it once to stream. I don't care for either of the two goblins. One's called Orc and the other one's called, um, is called Ogre. I think the one that he's wearing is Ogre. The red one's Ogre, the uh, green one's Orc, I think. I don't think they're going to hit time. Actually, the stage needs a lower timer. This stage has all the problems of Seesaw. And even has the mechanic of Seesaw. <laughs> as far as how respawning works. Because all those middle tiles seem to be set up the same way that Seesaw is. They probably like literally copy pasted it from Seesaw. Because it seems to have the same interaction based on what we just tested. Go in. <laughs> there you What are we going to get next? Come on, some kind of cool variant on a new stage. <clears throat> fruit shoot. Uh, fruit shoot, we got all watermelons and side hammers earlier. I know all bananas exist because they did it in a thing. Oh, good. We got side hammers again. I didn't try for it last time. 
I'm not sure if it's worth going for. Only if we fail will I go for it. If we're ahead, I don't feel like it's worth it. If you could just get a safe lead without it, I don't think it's worth going for. Oh, there's all bananas. There's the other variant. I'm not sure what other variants there are. But this was the one that was confirmed through the trailer thingy the other time. That we knew about before we seen it. Bananas, I feel like, is going to be the hardest one, to be honest. I wonder if there's all apple and all orange as well. So far, we've seen all banana and all water. So yeah, bananas are vicious. Bananas can just absolutely destroy you if you're not careful. They're by far the most annoying uh, thing on this stage. No! Oh, no! No! What is this banana? Why are you letting it hit you so much? <laughs> this is banana warfare. I'll grab my edge you lose. We got banana so hard. We have gotten banana so ridiculously hard. The whole left side basically lost two bananas. Oh, that hurts. We got banana. We got absolutely banana. It hurts. All right, let's go switch over to lava thing. It is lava time. Uh, let's see outfits. And uh, then we switch to lava. Actually, that one almost works as well. But um, it doesn't look as caramel as this one. Look at that. Look at that caramel right there. But yeah, the skin we have today isn't too bad. It's actually pretty close to looking like it as well. But uh, this is much better. It's lower rarity as well. So it's even less suspicious. Oh, yeah, I need to go a um, uh, different faceplate. I normally go inverted with this. I wish there was a gold one. Because gold would actually work better. But for now, we'll go inverted. Because there's no gold faceplate currently in the game. Yeah, the update just came out today. It came out like six hours ago? Seven hours ago? Sometime last night. After like four or five. Yeah, we've been playing it for about two hours now. Quite a cool uh, bit of cool uh, variants. They also did a bunch of bug fixes to finals, which is nice. Most noteworthy one being the hexagon one. You no longer uh, fall through the tiles. It's probably my favorite skin that doesn't get us targeted. Has a little chocolate hat, caramel body. Or chocolate body with caramel over top of it. I just wish there was a golden faceplate would work better with it. Well, they're eventually going to add it. We don't get new faceplates too often, though. Also, what on earth is happening with the lobby number? There we go. <laughs> it kept going down. Seesaw. That's the first time I actually had Seesaw today. The thumbnail has like fruit shooters on it. I wish they would actually add fruit shooters as a variant. Imagine Seesaw with fruit. I like Snormal other than the little Yetus there. But it uh, doesn't look like this update did anything to it yet. All looks somewhat standard, at least relative to uh, since the previous mid-season update, where it got changes. Now they meant to fall sooner. I'm just gonna take this normally, just because if you spawn in the middle here, it'll slow you down. And while there's only a 33% chance that will happen, if it does, it will slow you down quite drastically. So I'm not going to go for a respawn there. And on the final one, it's not worth going. It's uh, You can't even do it on this final area. Also, I'm going to not go for this hammer. I feel like the hammer is never worth it. I know, Sonic's going to win. I can't stop him either. Did I grab snacks? No, I didn't grab any snacks. So I ate before we started the stream. I did not grab snacks.
Not There's bad. a pigeon in a new Viking outfit. Or the Valkyrie outfit, whatever it's called. One of them's called Viking, one of them's called Valkyrie. I have no clue which one is called which. I think that one's Valkyrie. Because Valkyrie's a female and Viking is more so a male. It would make sense that the pink one's Valkyrie and the green one is uh, Viking. Hey, I finally got it. The early ball brought him anywhere. Still gonna lose, I think. Be very surprised if they qualify. You could have made it. The jump and then he didn't. Okay, you definitely didn't qualify. Wait, is the Viking pink and fall guys? That's weird. They did the other way around. Also, we got like three Sonics in this lobby. Well, two of them are half Sonics though. Also, that's a really good thing this update did. Every past um, featured item is now at the bottom side of the shop. It might take a while for it to rotate if you don't have most of the items in the game. But every single featured item that has ever been on the top of the shop can now appear at the bottom of the shop. That's why how we got the bullet kin. <gasps> Perfect match! I'm actually excited to see this because I want to see the new variant. Please give us a new variant. Don't be default. Don't be default. Don't be default. No, I think we got default. No. No, we got default perfect match. Oh, sadness. I want to see the spinner on this stage. I feel like it'd be the hardest stage in the entire game. This stage with a spinner. If it's moving even moderately quick, it'll kill so many people. You can literally use that as a final and just kill everyone. You can pretend it's jump showdown, like a really huge jump showdown. Where you have to do some memory matching over top of it. I really want to see that variant so badly. Because you basically turn this into a final. If you can kill every last person. Ah, cherry orange grape, cherry orange grape. Cherry orange grape. Cherry orange grape. But yeah, we haven't seen it yet. But I know it exists. They made this course less frequent. Uh, cherry orange grape. Haha, <laughs> we both killed him. Good job. <laughs> uh, let's see, Grape Orange. That was a good kill. Uh, grape Orange, Water, uh, Banana. Grape Orange, Water, 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 Banana. Cherry, I think, was right here. There should be a cherry here and below me. Yep. Oh, and apparently three cherries in a row. Oh, we didn't get the new variant, but that was quick and painless. I really want to see the new variant. I want to treat it like Jump Showdown and just win. <laughs> it depends how quickly the spinner's moving, though. If it's moving very slow, almost no one will die to it. But if it's moving at, like, a moderate pace, you could literally kill the entire lobby. Especially if you were teamed up with multiple people. Oops, the legends. We almost failed this earlier. I don't think we lost it yet today, though. I've only lost this a handful of times. Oh, gosh. What on earth is this variant? There's like a billion axes. That's a lot of axes. They were like, oh, we have this axe as asset. Where should we put it? Everywhere. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why you got to eat my A input? I want to jump. There we go. I want that gold ring. <gasps> no! Oh, I shouldn't have jumped at the end there. It seemed like everyone was going to miss. And then I failed. Hey, right, we got like a billion rings over here. I want to start grabbing some of them. Right, are we going default rings or are we going for gold? We have 17 people, so we can kind of just go default rings if we want. Yeah, as we fail. Everyone's still fighting for that gold, so yeah, we'll go for default rings. Problem is, too many people are still fighting for default rings everywhere. Oh, you can get this ring pretty safely. No! 
No, I didn't get that in the end. It looked like we did, but uh, we actually didn't. The other guy got it. I feel like I should go in the outer circle. Everyone's like fighting the middle. Use the gold ring spawns. Oh gosh, the axe can move the thing as well. I want that ring. Give me that ring. It's my ring. Told you it was my ring. Gosh, you took my other ring though. That would have been the win. Oh, I just need one more ring. Should be pretty easy. Oh, there it is. We won. Unless that axe had something to say about it. Right, let's go watch people. Have fun with the axes. I don't feel like the axes did too much that time around though. Even though there's a billion axes, have did we even touch a single one that entire stage? Oh no! <laughs> the dreaded uh, gold ring inside of a normal ring. Oh Wait, did that guy just get both of them? By going through? That's pretty insane. Uh, what was your question, uh, Dias? Or did you already ask it? Oh, Isabel answered it. Thank you, Isabel. Oh, he's gonna get it! No, he failed! Ah, oh, his chance to win. Spoiled by not doing a jump correctly. That was his to win. He was the closest person to it and failed. Ah, oh, that hurts. Okay, right, one more round and we go to final. Though this could theoretically go to final, though it is very likely not to. It's probably going to fruit shoot or um, tiptoe. Oh, so we haven't gone tiptoe yet. There's a lot of really weird variants to tiptoe now. Oh, he's got wall guys. I don't think wall guys got any variants, which is kind of a good thing. It doesn't really need variants. Because the location where the squares are is different every time. So technically every stage is a variant of it. Because it doesn't seem to ever have the same tiles everywhere. It might have several different patterns that it chews from. But if it does, it has so many that it seems like it never does the same one. I'm moving this just in case. Oh gosh, I move it and then everyone herds us. That's about how this normally goes. Uh, can we even make it over there? I think we can if we use this tile. Wait, there's already a path to victory? Well, that's easy. As long as we don't fail it. Okay, we're in. Not first, but uh, definitely qualify. A parrot actually made us knock at first. He made us tumble once. He's gonna qualify though. We can't arm revenge on him on the final. Up, oh, or he might not qualify. That jump might have just cost him the game. Wait, why is he moving it closer? He should have moved, tried moving it away. Because he might actually lose, which is good. Revenge. <laughs> we have been avenged. Oh yeah, the parrot loss. That's what you get for stealing our first. By not even qualifying. But he slowed us down enough to knock it first. Oh, we got Godzilla in play. That's a skin I've been using a lot lately. We might even switch back to it. You get targeted a bit for wearing it. But it's probably among one of my favorite skins. Also, we haven't used Dragon at all this uh, stream. Uh, Dragon normally doesn't get targeted. Unless people are salty at the fact that you're paying with a money skin. But, um... The Dragon's a lot of fun to use. I really hope we get the pink, uh, white drag or the pink, uh, blue dragon soon. It's pink, blue, and white. So it hasn't been released yet. It will be by the end of the season. I have no clue when. It doesn't seem to be in the next week. They're doing Untitled Goose Game next. Will be the next exclusive skin for the shop. Or not exclusive, but, uh, you know. Or they're not exclusive anymore after the update they did. Oh gosh, he's gonna eat my tiles. Okay, you only eat one tile. That's not too bad. He wasn't that hungry. <gasps> Ooh, that almost failed. Oh, gosh. I'm in a... No! Oh, I couldn't get on that other tile to jump back over. Is this a 
bad idea? I'm not sure. Is anyone over there? Probably. I need to start heading over there and blocking off anyone who wants to come over here. Gosh, how much real estate do we have? That's a lot of real estate. Can we jump over to the other side too? Or should I cut it off? I'm cutting it off just in case. Ooh, okay, I can't go for that other tile. I'm not sure if I should have cut myself off. I might have actually been able to grab all that myself. Now that other guy's gonna get it, which is concerning. I also don't have enough real estate to get over to that blue section, I don't think. I'm trying for it, though. No! <laughs> oh, that almost killed us. That got sketchy very quick. Super sketchy. Alright, we don't have that many tiles to work with. Okay, I need to try jump sabotaging this guy. No! Yes! Okay, we can make this work, hopefully. That one guy has super high high ground, though. Which is very concerning. We have an okay amount of tiles, but this guy's gonna cut us off, and he just killed us. Why'd that guy have to kill us? No! Ah, <laughs> uh, that one guy had too high a high ground. It hurts. So close. We made a second to last. Didn't get it though. Did not get it. Alright, let's update our final counter. Uh, where are we? Final stage is nine. There we go. Alright, let's go change our skin. Let's actually go random skin. Let's see what we get. Let's go random name and random skin. So they added a new random name function, even though you can't choose your name. Uh, we can generate a name with the P button. So now we got best talking runner. We got uh, popular frantic cheetah. That's basically just three random words. Uh, dramatic bouncing biscuit. Oh, I wish I was triple B. I would have kept it. It was like some B word, bouncing biscuit. I would have kept it. Uh, let's see. Angry Chilling Dandy. Always Glowing Melon. <laughs> that one's pretty funny. The Always Glowing Melon. <laughs> Wait, is there anything that glows in this game? I don't think there is. I should have used a glow skin with this, but I don't think any of the skins actually glow currently. Uh, scary Pink Master. Oh, I should have done that with default skin. Mary Pink Skelly. Uh, let's see. Janky Zooming Hamster. <laughs> zooming Hamster. It's a zoomer. Rare Googly Bolt. Friendly Major Joker. We can do that with the, uh, one skin. Uh, First Fall Chum. Mad Fallen Dino. That would actually be funny with the Dino skin. Amazing Toppling Witch. Come on, give us a good one. Valiant Mini Android. That could work with the robot skin. We could do that, I guess. Let's go to cat skin. I haven't ran it for a while. Maybe we'll random into it automatically. Go, give us cat skin. Give us cat skin! <laughs> oh, it's gonna go cat skin. Uh, let's see. Let's go use our name generator. This is a pretty cool outfit. It's actually among one of my favorite. The inverted mask with the uh, full kitty. What's the top called again? It's called uh, Gatto Robo. The Gatto Bots. Alphabetical order. Still can't find it. There we go. Man, this is still one of the cooler looking skins in the game. Unfortunately, we're going to get targeted. We're wearing 12 crowns. But uh, it's a cool skin. It's the only problem with using good skins. You get targeted too much sometimes. But hopefully it'll be fine. Almost reminds me of a cat. I mean, uh, obviously it's a cat. But it kind of reminds me of Samus. If it was a cat. <laughs> Samus, but if it was a cat. Yeah, we might need to wear the dragon skin next. We haven't wore it all stream. 
Still my other favorite outfit too. Oh yeah, Isabel, when we hit 1,600. I was wondering what you were saying for a second. Because I thought you said 1,600 gems, but I know what you mean now. Level 1,600. We'll probably have it this weekend during the faction event. We'll probably have it on Friday. Because we'll be doing a lot of battles on Friday for it. And of course, we'll be streaming Fall Guys um, a bit more this week. Gosh, I got herded off the tile. Gosh, what on earth is happening here? I feel like I'm heavier with this outfit on. It is made of metal after all. What? How did I not hit the checkpoint? I was going for the checkpoint hit. Apparently it didn't activate it. Maybe the hitbox for it is a bit different on this stage. They didn't just copy it from Seesaw. Gasp. They actually adjusted it. Oddly enough, I don't think they adjusted it on Seesaw. <laughs> no, it worked for that one time when we were doing this stage, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Next cycle. Oh, poof! Or fall. Luckily, everyone's still so bad at this stage that we can mess up a hundred times and still win. Well, so we need to go attack people. Oh gosh, we're already wearing the skin where we're going to be targeted, so... There's no point in not hitting people. We'll do it in the final section. I will wait. Also, you know what game got an update uh, recently that we might need to play again? Uh, Bug Fables. You guys remember that game? That one that's kind of like Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which is the best part Paper Mario ever made. Um, and that game got an update, the 1.1 update. They added three um, new missions and a bunch of other fixes and a uh, bunch of stuff. <laughs> a lot of things. Very high amount of things. I need to play it again sometime. Not sure if we'll get around to it this week. But I probably should do it before 8 o'clock. Oh, I forgot to go troll people. Whoops. But uh, because I was talking, <laughs> I got sidetracked. Uh, but, um,. We'll probably have to do it before Age of Calamity if we're going to do it. Because once Age of Calamity comes out, I'm literally not playing, like, any other game. <laughs> other than Gems of War for our normal streams. But as far as, like, side games, it is literally just going to be Age of Calamity for, like, a solid week. Particularly the first three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, when it comes out on the 20th. I'm so hyped for that game. Only ten days left. We found the bots. The A spam bots. Oh, wait, maybe that's not a bot. That one definitely is, though. The jester is definitely a bot. They basically farm kudos. I'm not sure why you would want to do it, but um, you can farm kudos by having an A spam bot. And all you have to do is just click A ever so occasionally, and you get like 30 kudos every like five minutes. Which, if you, I guess if you don't want to buy kudos or sell, like, a Steam account that has a bunch of kudos on it, I guess that's why people farm it. So they could sell it to some kid. <laughs> like, hey, five bucks for this account with, like, uh, $20 worth of kudos on it or something. I'm not sure why people really do that. I used to do it some, just because it gets you fame and the other thing. So maybe people just do it for that. Because if you did it for, like, a week straight, you could do the entire battle pass without playing a single game. If you just left the bot going for about a week straight. Might even be less than that. Because you had 15 fame per battle. And I think you needed 26,000 fame. And you get about 15 every, like, four or five minutes doing that method. So whatever the map comes out to on that is how many hours it would take. Can't do that in my head. But it's like 20 times 15. And then whatever that number is. 
which should be 300. You then divide 300 into 26,000. So whatever 300 into 26,000 is, is how many hours you'd have to have an AFK bot to auto-finish the current battle pass without playing a single battle. Let's see, what's the map on that? I can't open the calculator right now. Yeah, if anyone could do 26,000 divided by 300, that's how long it takes a bot approximately to um, farm the whole battle pass. If you just had an A-pressing bot and left it on, um, assuming servers don't go down at any point, it would take whatever 26,000 divided by 300 is hours. Approximately. If you go slightly quicker, it could take slightly longer. Eight point six repeating? That doesn't sound right. It's three hundred into twenty six thousand, which would be way more than eight point six six. Oh, 86.6. Okay, that sounds more correct. So yeah, if you left the bot running for 12 hours or 13 hours a day for an entire week, it would auto-farm you um, uh, the full battle pass. I'm not sure if that's bannable for this game. I would assume so. But um, I don't think that counts as a bot, technically. Because you can literally just set an auto clicker to click A like once every like 10 seconds or something. Which technically isn't a bot. Oh, also, I've been using a new strategy for this course, by the way. And um, it's actually won me 100% win rate. Though we pretty much have 100% win rate on this stage to begin with. But the strategy is um, don't go for any eggs and just sabotage one side. So I'm going to sabotage blue side. So basically what we do here is just grab a bunch of people and just make sure that they can't take any eggs across their bridge. And now they have a lot less points. And that's all you have to do. Oh wait, the bridges move much quicker this time around. Hold up. We got a new variant. We got a quick bridge move variant here. <gasps> no, he destroyed my egg. Oh, this is cool. The bridge moves very quick. Also, I disabled blue and somehow blue is still doing good. The red's got obliterated somehow. Oh, there's a hammer in the middle too now as well. In the middle of your uh, bin. That'll make it easier to guard. Just trying to steal our gold egg. Oh no, the hammer. So why am I defending? I don't want to be the defender. But apparently I've gotten this role all of a sudden. Okay, we're being attacked by two people. Where's the rest of my people? I need more people guarding. I can't defend two people. But luckily Red has like literally zero. <laughs> Team. I can't stop all of them. Thank you. Recover that egg, recover that egg, recover that egg. <gasps> no, what just happened? <laughs> My egg just physicked into the middle. Oh gosh, we're losing all of our gold eggs. Because I'm not defending anymore. Because I'm getting tired of my team not helping defend. I think we won though. Red's not gonna get eight points within seconds. There we go. Do you have Among Us? Yes. We played it once for the Halloween stream. Haven't played it since, though. Not the biggest fan of the game. Wow, Red Team only had two people by the end of it. No wonder why they were losing. And they were literally both attacking us. The only two people Red had left were attacking us. Go figure. They still have that attack yellow team mentality. Oh gosh, we got Fruit Shoot. Oh gosh, there's uh, shortcut hammers too. I'm not sure if it's worth taking. The problem is if so many people take it, we could lose if we don't take it. But if we fail it, we also lose. So I'm probably just going to play it safe. We're at a really good front running position for the stage. Oh gosh, it's fruit only. Like the mini fruit. 
Those little mini fruits can be vicious sometimes. Oh, they shoot a lot quicker too. It's like a lot of rapid rounds of small fruit, it looks like. That's interesting. I like this variant, actually. It's all the small fruit barrage. Oh gosh, I got strawberried. Okay, I think we're fine for a second, though. It's like decently safe at this point. But yeah, I like that variant a lot, actually. It's not as annoying as like bananas. Bananas seem like the trollyish one for that one. It's the only one we lost so far. Just because bananas can auto kill you so hard due to how they're shaped and how they move and how they bounce. Because once they stick to you, they like drag you all the way down. Let's see what we get for our final. Please don't be Royal Fumble. Oh gosh, no. Let's see, did Royal Fumble get any fun variants? Uh, looks pretty normal. I hate Royal Fumble so much. But Isabel likes it. She likes all the tail games. Because we hate all the tail games. Right, let's go win the tail game. We're on Earth's tail. Hello, tail. I come to steal your tail. Thank you for the tail donation. To victory. Now to hold this tail until we win. Come on, 1 minute 20 seconds. Oh gosh, we already failed. Nope. <laughs> I prefer not to. I wonder if I can actually hold it for a whole minute, 20 seconds. I'm very doubtful. I'll see how it goes. Oh gosh, I'm dead. I was going to say, how on earth did we not get our tail stolen? for my tail back, though I'm not going to hold it for long. No! We both got uh, hit. Oh no, he didn't actually get hit. How did he not get hit? Where is he? Oh, he doesn't have it anymore. The other guy does. <gasps> Give me that tail back. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, I might be able to get... <gasps> I might be able to get distance. I think I got this. Don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. Don't fail, don't fail. Yeah, we got it! <laughs> we got the Royal Fumble! As the Valiant Mini Android. Oh, I forgot to change my title, though. There we go. We could change our name now. We got a Valiant Mini Android win. <laughs> we can go change our name and our skin. Oh, so we're back to 120 crowns. The lucky cat. Among one of my favorite skins in the game as well. Let's go change the other one. Let's go change the dragon next. But uh, let me update the uh, numbers. Uh, finals today, 10. Uh, total crowns, almost to 400. We're getting there slowly. Uh, Wednesday, four. And let's go change our name and our outfit. Let's change our name first. Hey, what were you going to get for our name? Superb Jumping Champion. That actually wouldn't be too bad. Freezing Dazzling Winner. Unsteady Glowing Challenger. Balancing Smiling Ogre. <laughs> or Balanced Smiling Ogre. Uh, Mega Sneaking Snake. Ha ha ha! Oh, I like that. Mega Sneaking Snake. Alright, let's go for a title. To go with it. Um, like a sneaking snake with a nickname of... Uh, of... Uh, let's see. I still like the Sir Hugs a lot one. Or Sir Hugs a lot. Sir Hugs a lot. It's right next to the smoothie one. Mega sneaking snake. With Sir Hugs a lot. Why is it not going back? There it goes. Okay, and now let's go use the uh, dragon. I think that was the right color skin. Oh, where's T Rex? Works just as good for the dragon. 
Uh, face plate will go red. And here we go, full dragon. Where's golden dragon? Uh, I thought you'd be around the G's. You're apparently not. The golden chicken. It's called like mother chicken or something. There we go. All right, we got our dragon back. The uh, mega sneaking snake. Though I don't actually like that background. You can't really read it that well. I want something where we could read our name easily. Fire. No, you can't really see the bottom one though. Um, mushroom. <laughs> Random mushroom. Though it's easy to read the text on it though. Butterfly one's actually kind of cool because it has like a foresty background. Why does it not let you hit back on this screen? Weird. Okay, but there we go. Yeah, let's go dragon. As a mega sneaking snake. Yeah, there's also a free hug one. But Sir Hugs a lot. It kind of has the same vibes as that. But yeah, similar to the cat one, this is my other favorite skin in the game. There's a couple of them I really like a lot. And the Karma one's pretty cool. It's probably my favorite one that doesn't get us targeted whatsoever, though. Because you normally don't get targeted for wearing dragon. Since this is a money skin, it doesn't show any amount of skill. It just shows that you have five bucks. <laughs> that does show, I guess, you're a little bit more dedicated than other people to the game if you're willing to spend five bucks on some skins. Currently the only skin pack I bought in. Oh no, that's not true. I forgot. On Halloween I bought the uh, fast food one finally. It was on sale. It was only a dollar off, but I figured, eh, why not? I was gonna get it eventually. We did it for Halloween. Also, Isabel donated sixty dollars, and we had ten dollars spare. Because she gave us the Android pet, which she gave us some extra. So I bought Among Us with it and um, and the um, fast food bundle for this game. Because why not? I didn't wear anything from the fast food bundle this uh, stream. Hello! Yeah, a lot of the stuff in the fast food bundle looks tasty. Actually, one of them is literally called a tasty burger. That's quite literally what the skin is called. <laughs> oh gosh, why are you blocking? I'm not even gonna go for it. <laughs> The other guy backed up as well. He knew he'd get hit. Too many blockers. Gosh, that was a lot of recoil. There we go. I have no clue when we're seeing the season's fry skins. The mid-season patch uh, last season teased it, and they still haven't released it. Yeah, I'm not sure when we're getting seasoned fries. But yeah, it's basically season, seasoned Cajun fries with um, a green bottom. Oh, Dizzy Light's pretty fun. A lot of spinny plates. One of the better first stages. Actually, I believe it won a poll as one of the best five stages in the entire game, actually. That was towards the lower end. Oh, speaking of Dizzy Heights. Hello, Dizzy Heights. But yeah, they did a poll of all the best games. I think this one won fifth place with like 5% or 6%. The main ones that won were... Um, were uh, Hexagon, I believe, was first. Or sorry, uh, Slime Climb was first. And um, Hexagon was second. And those two made up like 60 to 70% of everyone who voted. I jumped, uh, voted for Jump Showdown, which won third with I think about 10% or so. But yeah, those three stages made the top highest. Slime Climb is highest. Um, Hexagon is second highest. And Jump Showdown is third highest. And I think Night Fever made fourth. And Dizzy Heights made fifth. As far as best stages in the game. 
based on the Twitter poll they did. They're the first three won by such a gigantic margin. And I think Slime Climb had um, more than double the vote of any other stage. Slime Climb really is perfect. Like, every single stage just needs to be Slime Climb. <laughs> like, we just need, like, 10, 20 different variants of Slime Climb. And that could be the entire game, and it'd be perfectly fine. We also need a final version of Slime Climb. Fall Mountain kind of, somewhat, ever so slightly is, but it's not, doesn't, not exactly the same. Yeah, Dizzy Heights got some pretty big changes. The ends can actually have uh, spinny plates with the... Or not spinny plates, but uh, little circle plates with uh, bumpers. And I got a few other changes here and there. All of them pretty much got some change. Like, this one got hammers on the side, which has been there, like, every single time so far. I haven't taken a single time yet. We will at some point. If we fall behind, we will. Like, if we fall off initially, we will. And so far, we've been doing consistent enough that we haven't needed it. The only time when we uh, lost was the banana. Oh, no! Bananas! I was about to say, the only time we lost this stage so far was bananas only. And we just got bananas only. Okay, so far none of the ban bananas are being vicious, though. They're being vicious to right side, not left side. Up until that happened. Luckily, that didn't actually hit us. Okay, I think we're safe. Alright, we got past the banana rampage. Which is probably the hardest variant. Bananas only. Up and then blueberries in the follow-up. But no strawberries, oddly enough. Bananas with blueberries actually sounds pretty good. Gosh, left side got completely obliterated. Or sorry, right side. Left side based on that perspective. But the other side that we weren't on got completely destroyed. Also, our name is Mega Sneaking Snake with a um, with Sir Hugs a lot as our title. I wonder if we're gonna grab on the final. <laughs> the sneaky snake. We didn't get full uh, alliteration there, did we though? We need all S's. Okay, right, we got Egg Siege. I'm just gonna do the troll method again. I have yet to lose a single Egg Siege with troll method. Where you just go onto someone else's gate and guard it. Doesn't matter how big the lobby is, it has yet to lose. Oddly enough, it hasn't made the person who I try stopping have the lowest score all the time. Though it normally does. Though the previous time we just did it on stream, it didn't. And definitely has instances where it doesn't. But basically, we go over here. We say hi to yellow team. And then we ambush them. So they can't do anything. And now they lose a lot of points. Potential that they could have had. Okay, now we start scoring for ourselves. And as you can see, yellow has one point because we stopped them. And now they basically lose because we stopped them. And that's all you gotta do. It's easy as that. That is how you win. And now the yellow team is perpetually going to have the lowest score the entire time. And because they're yellow team, everyone's going to target them. And then we win. Easy as that. Also, I might start attacking yellow team soon. I think we have enough people guarding that we should be fine. I should probably contest that gold egg, though. Wait, where did the gold egg go? Oh, there it is. Oh, no! Yellow team store, other gold egg. Oh, wait, I'm attacking my own ally. <laughs> what am I doing? Come on, guy. I'm holding him off for you. What are you doing? Yes. Come on. Why is there no one on my team over there? <gasps> oh, I almost just gave that to blue. Oh, that would be better than yellow having it, though. Oh, no. They just did teamwork. Oh, no. They're team working too hard. Good. We got it. Run. 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 Okay, I think we broke away. Oh, nope, not quite. Where'd the egg go? I can't see the egg. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, yellow team should lose. There's like three of them contesting this gold egg forever. There's no way they can get it in. It's over. And see, we got high score and yellow loss. Easy as that. Is the upcoming Dragon Kitty for Gems of War a Delph pet? Yes. It's a Delph pet coming this Friday. You have to have 2,000 renown for the New Kingdom to get it. So it's a little hard to get. 
So if you do 500 pure faction, or even if you're just doing more battles for it, uh, it's pretty easy to get over the course of the weekend. Ooh, jump showdown, nice. But yeah, we should have it by Saturday night. Saturday night stream, we should have the kitty. It's probably my favorite pet. It actually reminds me a lot of the skin we're wearing right now, too. It looks almost identical to it. Well, not identical, but <laughs> coloration-wise, it has the same color scheme. Of red, orange, with a lot of, of horns. But yeah, we'll be using it as our pet in Gems of War. Since we're just cosmetic anyway, so might as well. But the pet does have a bonus on it, but um, it's just for the delve. Can this guy stop grabbing me? Why are we being grabbed? We're a dragon skin. There's no reason to grab us. I think he's just grabbing because he wants to grab someone. And he died. Okay, that works. I was going to say, he's way too overly grabby. There's a sign that he was a noob. And he was. <laughs> he already died. Uh, we're not in the safest position. Safest position, oddly enough, is where those two guys are on that one tile. Okay, now this is the safest position that we're on right now. Now that the other tile went down. Okay, now we're really at the safest location. <laughs> I heard a grab. I think it was one of the dinos, so I have no clue. There's like five of them, gosh. So many, um, Godzillas. They're like the new Sonic as far as, like, everyone using the skin. Like, whatever the most recent, uh, legendary skin is, everyone, like, wears it for a while. When it comes out. Oh, that guy just grabbed suicide to someone else. Good. As long as they're not doing it to us. I heard another grab. I didn't see it. Oh. I'm not sure who it was. I could have grab killed him there. I didn't go for it, though. But yeah, we're getting Untitled Goose Game on Friday for this game. I won't be streaming that day, though. Or, I won't be streaming Fall Guys that day, I should say. But uh, Untitled Goose Game comes out this Friday. It'll be 10 skin, uh, crowns. Like all the uh, franchise skins. I kind of want to grab someone. However, we're going to be marked for a grabber for the rest of the battle if we do. Just making me kind of hesitant to grab. Oh, gosh. It seemed like it was moving quicker. <laughs> Objects are moving quicker than they may appear. Okay, we're down to four of the people. Should I grab him? Oh, I grabbed too early. Oh, he still died somehow, though. <laughs> Oddly enough. Okay, everyone's being super safe over there. Because they're too suspicious of people grabbing. Which makes sense. Oh, gosh, I gotta be over here. I can't overly uh, anti-grab so much that we die because of it. Oh gosh, I tumbled there. Like, it's getting increasingly harder to try going for a grab kill now. Because we can very easily die if we're not careful with it. Also, can you guys not stand on me? No! He drop cancelled us! Uh, I hate jump cancelling. Now it's just all the uh, dinos. Oh, wait, never mind. There's still a uh, wolf guy there. Let's see who wins. The guy in pigeon suit drop canceled us. Let's see if he wins. Okay, that guy just tumbled. He should be dead. Yeah. He's out. Let's see if the pigeon wins. No, he died. Looks like the wolf won. Yep. Wolfy wins. Wolfy wins. Oh, it's tribute time? Okay. Let's go figure out what our next outfit's gonna be. That will be our... <laughs> what even is this outfit? There we go. We got our outfit. <laughs> okay, let's roll with this, I guess. It's that third random outfit. That is the third random outfit. Now let me go update my number and take tribute. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Where is the thing? There it is. Ah, Sniffly. Tribute time. I got 12 gems. Gosh, we've got a lot of tasks. Oh, there we go. Let's see how Fall Guys is doing. Still looting with our whatever on Earth that outfit is. So let's see. We got some kind of like green, green skin. We got a skeleton pattern. <laughs> we got the princess top. 
One, the cactus bottoms. What even is that combination? This is such a weird combination. And a back black faceplate to go with it. At least we don't look suspicious at all. <laughs> what on earth is our skin? I can't even try to make skins as bad as what the random does sometimes. Like the random has some really good skill at making the weirdest outfits ever. I feel like grabbing him. I think we got it though. I have no clue if we meet first, but I'll find out in a second. You got the new map? Yeah, the new map's a lot of fun. The new map's a lot of fun. The only fan stage. The big fans. Oh, we didn't get first. He sniped us. Doesn't matter too much though. To <laughs> what on earth is our skin? See if we get a different or better random one next. Obviously, we'll get a different one. Now we'll go back to Godzilla. I was using Godzilla a lot. And I feel like people don't target us as much. Probably because there's so many Godzillas in many lobbies. So as long as you have at least like one other Godzilla for the final, you don't get focused as much. Because it was like as popular as the Sonic skin was like a few weeks back. It's basically where Godzilla skin is now. And same thing will happen to Untitled Goose when it comes out this Friday. Or if you want to camouflage, all you have to do is wear the skin. And a lot of them, you can't see your pattern. So the only thing that's different between players is the faceplate. And generally, there's a uh, faceplate that is very common for it. For example, with Godzilla, it is um, both the two black faceplates. Uh, either the uh, all black one or the uh, inverted one. And for something like Sonic, you normally see white faceplate. So you can blend in pretty easily when you're wearing those. Because it doesn't show your pattern and it... Um, has a very common faceplate that gets used for it. Like the only faceplates on Sonic is normally white and ever so occasionally blue. And for the Dino, it's um, or for uh, T not T-Rex, what's it called? The um, Godzilla. It's uh, black and inverted. Which is basically just pitch black. Did we get our first place sniped again? Is this just the stage of just all first place snipes? We got like a tied first place to the other one. Okay, that time we actually got first place. There we go. Didn't get sniped that time. Doesn't really matter though. It does give you slightly more fame and slightly more kudos. So that really only matters at the beginning of a season. But yeah, we can get big fans as this next stage. You can only get as one of the first two stages. Just one of those category of stages. Nope, we didn't get it. Oh gosh, we got hoarders. No, no. I wonder if hoarders got any new variants. Uh, looks like standard herder hoarders. No variants at all. Imagine if fruit fell on this stage. <laughs> and the fruit actually counted for points. Wow, I actually soloed against like three people. That's single ball. We're actually in lead right now, too. That's not necessarily a good thing, because now everyone's going to attack us for balls. What even is this skin combination? It's probably one of the weirdest ones we've gotten yet off of random. Oh gosh, we lost the ball. I don't think I can recover it. It's better to defend at this point. Hey, we got five balls somehow, though. We're about to drop down to like three. I might just let that ball go just so we can defend what we have. Because all you really need to do is hold on to three. If you can hold on to three, it's impossible to lose. Just don't lose three balls. Well, actually, that's not true. Because theoretically, you have three and someone lobs it up and makes it go to two for a short duration. And then you could lose. But that's very unlikely. Uh, 
I think we might lose that one ball, but it's fine. Just gotta hold on to three of these four. Oh gosh, no. <sighs> okay, we still have three though. That's fine. We won. Oh no, but they're gonna tie. It's gonna go to overtime. Oh, no. Or red's gonna lose one. Perfect. Good job, yellow team. Or whoever moved that ball. Okay, we're down to 20. Let's go, go to one stage and then final. I hope we get tiptoe. We haven't gotten tiptoe yet. There's some new cool variants that I got. We haven't gotten to see a single time yet today. No nope. wall, guys. I'm not sure if you can make that all the way from the right tile there. Looks rather sketchy. Also looks pretty sketchy as our skin. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get something different for random. Something more interesting. You know what? I'm actually going to do this. I think it saves time compared to trying to jump up. Oh, please make that jump. Yes. Okay. Uh, What on earth do we do this for the final section? I'm not sure if you can make that, but I'm going to try. Oh, that's close enough. If you take it all the way from the corner. <gasps> no! It's not close enough. I think you can make it from there, can't you? Is that not makeable? Apparently not. Wait, is that a whole level higher? It might be. Hmm. What's the game plan here? Yeah, you can get a um a jump off of someone's head here. Oh wait, wait, that one's close enough. Apparently. Interesting. I didn't realize this one would be close enough. Oh yeah, it is. Cool. Okay, we made it. Barely. Didn't realize I was already close enough. Some weird jumps you can do. You can also do head jumps on it, which can get you a little bit more distance. When you're in a big herd. Alright, it should go to final. Hopefully it doesn't go to 6-6 six, six tail tag. Or, you know, 6 tail tail tag. Or 6-6 six, six ball ball. Or 7 tiptoe. Should hopefully go to final. Give us that final! Oh, oh gosh, Fall Mountain. Or luck will decide where we go. Okay, we got front row. We almost always get front row. I'm not sure why. But I'm actually really lucky with getting front row on this stage. We get it like... It's going to be like 95% of the time. Okay, I think we got front running on right. Oh, good. We got a really good hit there. So this banana got a slightly better hit. I feel like grabbing him so badly. He's really in my way. I think we passed him. No! They bumped into me and now we lost! No! That banana! I should have grabbed him! <laughs> oh, that banana stood us over. That hurts. I tried going for the shortcut there, but they kind of hurted us. Oh, That was ours to win. It hots. We need a better random skin. The banana got us. Alright, let's see what random skin we get now. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. We got a pink superhero kind of thing. We'll go with it. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me go update the number. Actually, let me queue while we're updating the number. Uh, there we go. Oh, good. We might have gotten all the night stages, which means we should be able to get the uh, tile one next. The uh, big fans. 
go in as the superhero. The color scheme for this actually kind of works. Even though it seems somewhat random, the pink of the um, pattern goes with the pink of the bottom. And the orange of the face goes with the orange of the superhero outfit. So it kind of works. Random actually did an okay outfit for once. Also, we got the egg skin, so we have like a random like burn spot on our head. <laughs> It almost looks like it's like a one of those suits that you would wear, but it has it got like burned. <laughs> oh, I never seen this. We got uh, little bouncers. That's a new variant. Didn't really do much to us though. <laughs> but it is new nonetheless. And also, those gates are new. The way that they're moving is not normal. Oh wait. First place. Also, one of only two see-through skins in the game. Hey, that one guy got bullet today. Or maybe he already had bullet. I feel like anyone who's wearing bullet today just got it for the first time today, though. Oh, that guy just lost because he missed. He's wearing a five crown bottom too. And he might not qualify. Oh no, he might still get it. Uh, nope, he's not going to make it. Nope. First place. Easy first. Also, oh, that red skin is almost like the new default pink. Because you get that red skin as the very first reward of this current season pass. So a lot of newer players will put it on immediately. It's basically like the pigeon of last season. For identifying who all the noobs are on the current season. Like all the brand new players. Because it's like the first new thing they ever get. For most players who start the game now. Will be that one red skin. So they'll obviously put it on immediately so they have something new. Because the first outfit's kind of deep in this one. It's not the goblin until... Or orc. I call it goblin. And it's not until the first part of it. I don't think until it's like 15. And the other one's like 20, 21 or something pretty deep uh, last season the outfit was like four and seven or something for the pigeon also got the new stage big fans actually a big fan of the big fan stage it's actually quite a bit of fun reminds me a lot of the strategy they use for jump showdown it's basically like seesaw and jump showdown combined together as a first stage Eliminated. Too bad that's not a death pit. <gasps> no, my A inputs. Why would you not go? You had the same problem. Oh no, why'd I go for that? That was obviously not going to reach. Right, let's control people. Heavy trolling time. Okay, we're almost at the trolling area. Okay, we're at the trolling area now. Oh, I couldn't get him in time. I oh, couldn't get him either. Gosh, I'm hitting like no one. Oh, I want that grab so badly. I'm getting like no grabs right now. I'm getting like no one eliminated. I'll eventually get someone here. Hey, right here. Ah! Oh, gosh, we got like no one! Yes, I got him! Oh, what a funny way to get someone knocked out. Oh, that's great. Oh, why are you grabbing me? You want to go? Uh, 
Okay, I'm just gonna go in, I think. He's gonna combat us too much if I don't. Oh, the dragon still qualified too. <laughs> See if the newer player makes it. Oh wait, he's this whole section before he even reaches it. Yeah, all the newer players doing really bad on this stage. Dino might still be able to make it though. Oh, the guy who's wearing a good crown skin is actually losing. He might not qualify. The dragon's ahead of him. Yeah, the dragon's gonna qualify. Sniped. Oh, so luckily there's someone else in a superhero outfit, so maybe they'll think it was him and not me. I'm obviously wearing the pink. But yeah, we actually ran them with a pretty cool outfit. The outfit we're wearing right now is completely random. Not a single piece was chosen. Is that the win already? For sure, it looks like it. Oh no, they're dragging a tile! No! Someone got salty that they missed! Oh, why am I helping them? <laughs> that literally just helped the two people that were up there. That's yeah, not high enough to make it up. Um, that one guy's moving over there. No way to get there though. Not without this tile. There's some other tile. Come on, someone move something into position. There we go. Okay. Ah oh, no. I might actually not qualify if we're not careful. Yes, go, 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 go. You guys got this. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the victory. It is greatly appreciated. Oh no no, we might not make it still. Come on, we gotta go, gotta go fast. Okay, we got it. Thank you for giving me the victory, everyone on the other side. Nice. Barely made it. See, moving that tile there was helpful when we did it earlier. A win's a win. As long as we qualify, it doesn't matter what position. Only on the final doesn't matter. Oh gosh, we got fall ball. Second one to stream. It's a pretty fun stage though. But if your team's bad, you it's not a good time. Oh, we got default fall ball. No variants whatsoever. Zero variant fall ball. A nice clean fall ball battle. It's not even four balls. It's just normal double ball. Perfectly standard fall ball. But I did change how the respawn time works, which is just, uh, across all the stages for fall ball. Uh, I can't get a good hit on that. Why did our goalie leave our goalie? Good job, goalie. That's pretty much how our goalies normally are. <laughs> Standard goalie. Oh, my ball actually made it in. Nice. That was the one we were controlling. Oh, that shot. That shot is golden. Oh, I didn't make it in, though. But a lot of one did. Nothing else to distract them. Oh, I think that one made it. Yep, got it. Got two goals so far. Two out of three. Nope, that guy got... Oh, nope, not quite. Come 
Why would you touch it, Sonic? I don't know why everyone feels the need to touch the ball at, like, every instance. Like, I'm just gonna let that go through. Oh, gosh. It's only... Okay, yeah, it's gonna go in. We have a two lead. Gosh, my whole team missed it. Luckily, there was a follow-up on it, though. Oh, that nice hit by him. I didn't make it in, though, surprisingly. Banana! Alright, they're probably not going to be able to score. Banana takes forever to move. Where's the ball? Alright, let's discard this ball. Because that banana's going to stay on their side for, like, the rest of this battle. So we won. It's over. Second the banana fell, it was way over. If that was a golden egg, that'd be a different story. <laughs> but they had pretty much no chance once that was a banana. Football would have probably been the same too if they didn't get a good lob off it. Football is kind of delayed, but it's not as delayed as a banana as far as how hard it is to move. Okay, final time. I think I want Jump Showdown. Jump Showdown or Hexagon? Yeah, Jump Showdown. We need Redemption. Have we even won Jump Showdown this stream? I don't think we have. I think we have three losses, which is pretty sad. This is our stage. We keep getting into weird grab fights as well as just making really weird mistakes let's see if we can win with the weird skin that actually random into something that's somewhat coherent of a skin might need to bring out the lucky duck or something that's probably why we're not winning this stage we're not using lucky duck skin which will hopefully like auto win us the game okay can we not get grabbed we literally just started at least he's grabbing everyone it's not like it's just targeting me. It's worse is when they just have a vendetta against you specifically. <laughs> I haven't done anything to make anyone angry, have we? Oh yeah, we were grabbing on that one stage quite a bit. I forgot. If any of these two tiles go down, we move on to the other side. Okay, it's time. And that is exactly why I did that. Okay, I just gotta kill one person and then we win. <laughs> the grab fight, the double superhero fight! <laughs> oh gosh, the double superhero. Oh, this is great. Who will win? Who's the better superhero? Oh gosh, this is gonna be such a grabby fight. <laughs> the grab wars have commenced. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on, we gotta out grab him. This is gonna be a really funny level. <laughs> Who will grab? Who will be the better grabber? <laughs> this isn't going to be anything but like constant grabbing from both sides. Come on, get knocked off already. Uh, how did that not get him? <gasps> yes! Did we get him? Yeah! There we go! I <laughs> got him! The superhero fight. Light versus darkness. <laughs> Oh, that was great. He was wearing the villain uh, superhero outfit, and we were wearing, like, the normal one that we randomed. Oh, that was great. Hey, our first random win of the uh, game as well, of the day. Random skin win. I think we might need to go Lucky Duck next. We might go one more random, then we'll go Lucky Duck. See, whenever we get a good random skin, we can actually win. <laughs> we just keep hitting random till we get a good combination. Uh, let's see. Let's update our numbers. There we go. Alright, let's go random. That's random seven times for lucky seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got a double bird. Oh, wait, is that an ox? What is that bottom? What is that lower? What animal is that? Uh, woolly. What was that for? Oh, it's the mammoth. That's the mammoth bottom. With the uh, chicken top. With a black face. Okay, I guess we'll go with it. Then we'll start actually picking our skins again. <laughs> but we'll go with this random, I guess. And we'll start picking them again. Might need to go KFC bucket. <laughs> now we'll go one of the food items next, I think. We haven't used a single food item this stream. 
from the food bundle. I wear a chicken elephant. Yeah, they don't have an actual elephant. They need to add an elephant skin. We have a mammoth, but we don't have an elephant. I wonder if they're ever going to do a recolor of the mammoth as an elephant. Because all they could do is just literally make it gray. And maybe get rid of some of the fur markings on it. And boom, you got an elephant. Like, they, if they really wanted to be lazy, they could literally just make it gray. And boom, you got an elephant. <laughs> There's quite a few animals that they do in teasers too that they are still aren't in the game. There's quite a few teaser images for the game that have a shark and a lamb. Neither skin exists yet. I feel like eventually this game will have every animal in existence. Give it a year. It'll have every animal. <laughs> it's getting a goose soon. Of course, the goose. The entitled goose. The most popular goose there is. We still have no clue what the skin looks like. So obviously, it's probably going to look like the goose from Entitled Goose Game, obviously. As far as specifically, we don't know what it will look like. Oh gosh, I better make this in time. I got to hang to the right. Otherwise, we might not make it. Okay, there we go. We made it. That could have been really bad otherwise. I'm sure, I went for the rod there. We could have hugged into the right a little bit better. <gasps> no! See, if I would have taken the rod... Oh gosh, we're in such a bad position right now. We should still easily going to qualify, though. This is Seesaw. Where the IQ of the average person goes down to zero. <laughs> Look at this little tail wiggle. It's such a small tail, yet it still has a little bit of wiggle physics. I shouldn't have gone this way. Oh, never mind. It might still work. Okay, we got it. Never mind. That was the correct decision. We just didn't know it until it happens. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the shark skin. I hope we get a dolphin skin, too. We'll probably get a shark way before then, because it's been kind of indirectly teased. Kind of like how Season's Fries has kind of been indirectly teased, but they still haven't added it. But the main reason they don't want to add Season's Fries is probably because they want to sell more fast food bundle. Same reason why nothing in the uh, other bundles in the shop yet. The only money skin that has a variant so far is the unicorn. There's a black and purple unicorn instead of the rainbow one. That is currently the only skin in the entire game that uh, is money only, and that has a variant currently. Though there are more plans, but obviously they want to delay them as much as possible because they make money by delaying them, <laughs> since people will buy the other packs more. Oh, we got the uh, uh, the new variant for the uh, little hitty things. Also, I still feel like those hammers are different. Maybe it's just the way it's zooming in on them. But um, the uh, thick bonkus is definitely new here. We got it already once, but uh, we got it again. It's one of the new variants in the patch there for this stage. It seems pretty easy to dodge, though. I'm actually going to hang a right here. Because they're going way quicker than the left side. I think we can make first gate cycle, though. I'm not sure why, but it's being kind of slow. And then everything got herded. Oh gosh, no, we didn't make it. No, we gotta go for the slow cycle. At least we get to do a straight line here. I'm gonna wait. Oh wait, never mind. We can just hang to the side. Gosh, it doesn't even cover the whole area. Should I go for speed boost? Oh, I tried for it. Didn't get it, though. Wasn't worth it. There's too many hammers there, even if we got it. Hello, David. Welcome. Oh, someone in a Sonic skin. Is the Sonic skin not gonna make it? I don't think he is. That's a fake Sonic skin. You're not going fast. Oh, no. He's gonna qualify. Never mind. Barely. I mean, second to last qualify. That Sonic skin wasn't that fast. His skin is a lie. Also, gosh, we should switch back to um, Godzilla. I've been using it for the last several days off stream. And uh, gosh, is everyone still using it? I didn't even realize until now like how many people were still using Godzilla. 
Like, we're on the third round, and there's still, like, six Godzillas in this lobby. Oh, please give me the new variant of Perfect Match. We got it earlier, but we didn't get the new variant. Please. Show me the spinner. Show me the spinner. <gasps> yes! We got it! New variant. Okay. We must kill everyone. Let's see how quick this moves. It might be super slow. Please don't be slow. Don't be slow. Don't be slow. At least moderately quick. Ooh, okay. We can work with that. We can work with that. Okay, it is grab central now. Uh, where on earth is their other color? Okay, there it is. Watermelon. So, watermelon. Watermelon cherry. Water cherry. Water cherry. Water cherry. Water cherry. Okay, we're on water. Get ready to grab. Get ready to grab. Get ready to grab. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, wait. I gotta watch out the stage, though. I want to see how many are alive by the end. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> I have failed. I need to get used to doing this stage with the new spinner. It was worth a try, though. <laughs> I need to watch this stage. Hold up. I want to see how many weird shenanigans happen. Because everyone being herded. Look! <laughs> look at how many people are going to die by the end of this. Especially on this one. Because not only do you have to memorize it, but you also have to constantly keep jumping. Let's see, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people left. Or sorry, nine people left. There's nine people left. I wasn't even paying attention to where the fruit is. There's four people left. <laughs> four people survived. <laughs> we went from like 30 something to four. That is insane. I told you, it's going to kill a lot of people. I wasn't expecting for the grab I did to kill me, though. But, um, four people lived out of 30-something. I love it. <laughs> that needs to just be the default version of that stage. It went from, like, the lowest elimination to the highest. Okay, I should probably cancel that out there. Now I got to watch their final for a second. Those are fun. Let's, oh, might as well. Let's watch the whole lobby out. Let's see how they do on Fall Mountain. We get to chill for a moment. Let's see how they do. Everyone who survived the new variant of uh, Memory Match. Let's see how they do at Full Mountain. My bet's on Godzilla, especially with his starting position. Come on, Godzilla. We're not currently using Godzilla skin, but you can win for us still. You got this. Oh, he's using white faceplate, though. He's probably going to lose. He's using white faceplate. <laughs> still voting for him, though. You got this, Godzilla. Okay, he took the speed boost. Took first with it. Oh, he's taking the right method, not the left method. Interesting. Also means he's probably not going for the Yetus. Will the other guy try going for it? He's going to be behind. Nope, no one decided to go for it. And called it, he won. Called it! <laughs> See, we won. <laughs> Godzilla still got it. Anyways. I wish that would be the permanent new version of uh, of Perfect Match. That is absolutely amazing. All right, let's change to a natural skin now. Let's use one of the fast food ones. We're going to stop clicking random. Uh, let's see. Those are fun. What would have been our next random outfit? <laughs> the ogre thing. Oh, there's one of the fast foods. I guess that will determine which one we go. Let's go for a full burger. Let's go make a burger outfit. Or should I just go burger with a half fry? We'll go burger top but fry bottom. Uh, so it looks more like one of those dishes that you get, like one of those like old-fashioned places where they put it in like one of those bins. There you go. You can also do it with Dragon Bottom. Dragon Bottom goes with like everything. But there we go. It looks like it's served on one of those plates now. Oh yeah, we still get to customize our arms. I forgot. Um, actually, Lava would look kind of cool with it. Oh, I kind of like it with that pattern already as well because it makes it look like sauce. Wait, what pattern are we currently using, anyways? It's actually kind of cool. Uh, we're using uh, Squiggly Camo. Interesting, I've never used it yet. Do we have a different Squiggly that kind of works? I want it to look like Sauce. Uh, let's see, that's not exactly what we need. Fish Sauce. <laughs> Sprinkles. I might just use camo. Camo seems the way to go. 
based on skins that currently exist. Where'd it go? Where's the camo go? Camo, where are you? <laughs> it was called something camo. And now I cannot find where it is. Where on earth did it go? Seriously, where did the camo skin go that we were just on? I've lost track of it. It's in here somewhere. Am I that blind? Where on earth is camo? There it is. Let's go with it. Special sauce. Hey, there we go. I think that works. Yeah, we'll do it with the inverted plate. There we go. Oh, congrats, Diaz. Very nice. Very, very nice. Also, that burger is literally called Tasty Burger, and now it makes me want a burger. Oh, so hello, Dizan. Welcome. And I could go for a burger now. Look at how tasty that is. Even has a little pickle with a little spear thing in it and everything. It's a pretty small pickle, though, relative to the burger. That's like a mini pickle. But yeah, we got fries on the bottom. You don't see them. It's like one of those little bins. Like those restaurants that have like those red and white little colored things and you serve it up with fries, a burger and all that. Like those kind of like old fashioned places. I have one actually by the corner. It's pretty good. I don't go there that often though. And these days I haven't been going at all obviously because of the virus. I wonder if they're even still open. They might have went out of business because of the virus. It wasn't like a family owned place but it was a very, very, very small chain. That I think was family owned specifically that one. It's like a chain that only has like five or ten restaurants or something. Like one of those like super mini chains. I forget what the place was called. Actually, I don't think I ate there since last October. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's been like a year now. Just because I haven't really been eating out at all <laughs> during the virus. For the obvious reason. Only time I got somewhat uh, outside food was um, uh, for my birthday when we went to that fish market. But that's not really the same. Oh gosh, why? Though. But some of that food was pre-prepped. Oh gosh, can you go on the little circle? <laughs> it just does not want to go on it. we have made an enemy like that no are we gonna keep doing that yes <laughs> wait is this the first stage yes it is we could actually time <laughs> we could try timing a bunch of people out i think we're gonna go for it gotta make it to the final section though i think we can make that yeah there we go we can make that as well do a jump okay we're in the final section now we control people for like three minutes straight until it hits time Gosh, how did that person get hit all the way back? That was pretty far. All right, now we control people. Oh, I missed. All right, let's go make a billion enemies. So we stand over here. And then we say, nope. Oh, or they'll get through still. Kind of want to, like, anti-jump at them. Got him. Next. Nope. Miss. How did you still make it? <laughs> oh, I almost got him a second time. That would have been funny. 
I wish there were the invisible timer would be shown. <laughs> he died for that. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny. He wanted to remove me from the tile. Oh, I actually missed that uh, kill on him. Oh, and I failed. Oh, gosh. I might actually lose myself now. All right, let's just try qualifying at this point. We'll stop trolling people. We had our fun. Oh, one more, though. That was so tempting to go for. I'm just going to go in. I have no clue how much time is left, so... Since you can't see the timer... For all we know, it could be another minute only. But how far the music track has gone, I feel like it's very soon. It's like 30 seconds, I think. Until it hits timer. Yep, there it goes. Timer has hit 26 made it through. Actually, that's the lowest count so far. We had two 29s on the first stage, and now a 26. When 40-something could qualify. Look at all them deaths. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, DoorDash and Uber Eats are making, like, a billions. <laughs> and that might not even be an exaggeration. <laughs> they are probably making billions. Definitely millions. Okay, no, no variance on the bottom, but we have some variance on top. A little uh, hitty thing. And we got one, two, three, four, uh, math. Uh, eight people per team. Okay, that guy's just running forward. We're currently in the lead somehow. Uh, ever so barely. Okay, I think we can make the rod before it does anything. Okay, let me take over to the right. So we don't hit this rod. Now hopefully they all decide on what way they want to go. Good. And now let's make it before the rod poke. And then we auto one. We want It's over. There's no chance. There's literally no chance we lose. Why are you on the ball itself? That's pretty funny. Oh, we won. Okay, let's go help Red win. Don't block him. Don't block him. Don't block him. Help them. Help them. Help them. What are you doing, Yellow? Help them. You don't want to block because it just makes the game low longer if we already won. I don't know why people do that. It literally just drags on the battle. You should just help them win. When you already know for sure you already got the win. And you still haven't been despawned yet. I just realized the bottom of that actually looks black when you're doing a minigame. I never noticed that. Since obviously it can't be red. It's white and black instead. Which works perfectly because it works with inverted face. Which would that be kind of interesting then? i never seen the top with um like that. With an inverted face. That would kind of actually all match, wouldn't it? We just did a front flip. Did it again. So you can always identify the uh, good players that are pretending to not be in a good skin if they're wearing an inverted face mask. I feel like no bad player has inverted face mask. Like, that's just a thing. 
<laughs> like, if you have inverted face mask, which costs two crowns, you're at a point in the game where it's like, okay, I'll go for this mask. And you tend to have, like, already good skins. And you're just wearing it because it's the coolest face mask. So you can kind of identify who the better players are by that. Only three people got eliminated, really? Uh, they should go to final. This what, 12 left? 11? 13? This could go to final. Sure hope it does. Uh, Jump Showdown would probably be perfect for 13. It's a little bit crowded for Hexagon and for Fall Mountain. Oh, or we can get Hope So Legends. This is bad. It's like a 7 qualify. Whoever gets gold rings wins. Oh, gosh. How many axes are on the stage? Also, gosh, that gold ring is so protected. <laughs> Look at that axe is getting ready to protect that ring. We might have time to be able to get to it. Where are we? Uh, can we make first cycle? Is that even possible? No. You can make second cycle, though. I want it so badly. I want it so badly. Don't get in my way. Got it! Okay, we won. It's over. We have just such a lead that there's no way we lose. Can I get two gold rings? No. I'm just going for the standard. Don't steal my standard ring. Don't steal both my standard rings. Don't steal all my standard rings. Watch us lose with a gold ring. Could you imagine? Can you make this jump right? Yes. Good. My ring. <laughs> Give me my qualify. It took us way too long to get one point. <laughs> Let's see. This guy's probably not going to qualify. I'm placing my bets now. This guy's not qualifying. If we're basing it just on skins alone, he will not qualify. I'm also willing to make a bet. Five of the seven people that qualify have inverted face mask. I'm calling it now. This guy won't qualify. And five out of seven will have inverted. Oh, called it. Let's see, five out of seven? Or at least majority. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Did I call it or did I call it? <laughs> there is exactly five inverted. And the guy who I said wouldn't win didn't win. See, you can tell a lot by their skins. <laughs> you can tell a lot of information. Oh, and got Jump Showdown, though with a lot less people. Okay, everyone's a grabber until proven dead. And we're in a big herd with like one person away from everyone else. He got lucky. I was going to say, there's no way he's going to die that early. No way. <laughs> I almost missed that jump. Okay, are we going to get any splits? Nope. Looks like we're just getting one thick tile. One thick double. Oh, we got some split. Good. What do we want to see? Are we on the safer side? Uh, depends what tile falls. Okay, we are on the not as safe side. Yeah, I'm bailing as well. <gasps> no! Jump, jump, jump. Okay, I almost didn't get a jump input there. I did that just for safety's sake. Yep, that's why. That guy's gonna die. Oh no, he actually made it safely. Barely. How did that one guy die? He jumped, like, for no reason. Or did he grab fight someone or something? I didn't see what happens. I feel like someone's a grabber. I heard a grab. So someone has confirmed a grabber. I have just no, no clue who it was. I'm staying back just in case. I don't need to make myself a target. Let's identify who the grabbers are. Okay, I definitely heard a grab marker earlier, but no one's continuing to grab for whatever reason. <laughs> They don't want to put more suspicion on themselves. Should be going for some grabs when I make that distance. Because they're not going to expect it. Like that, see? Oh, he didn't die though. <laughs> Problem, he didn't actually die. <laughs> Gosh, did I just save him from dying again? 
Oh, there he goes. Finally. <laughs> okay, he was the only person who saw I grabbed him, I think. So he might not be marked as a grabber. I'm not sure. We did kind of a sneaky grab there. And he was the only one who 100% knew it was us. Okay, is that the last person? It might be. Hello. You saw I was trying to go for a grab, I see. You're dead. Easy. Easy! Get that fast food win. There we go. Now the crown for the infinite pile of increasingly growing crowns. Actually, we're almost at 400. Oh, uh, let's go a different skin. Then we'll go update our numbers. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we want to go? Let's go to night. We haven't used the night for a while. It's actually a really cool night combination that I love. Um, where to go? I like the dragon outfit more, but if we're going to go night, there's actually a pretty decent combination that it has. Um, where's the other thing? There it is, I think. Wait, was it this one? No, I think I just went standard blue with this. Where's pattern? I actually run no pattern. Is this the one? I think this is one. Yep, there we go. This is my night outfit. There we go. I don't think it was a blue or blue that matches it, right? That's like the bluest blue. Oh, never mind. That would have to be inverted. Uh, I wish there was the exact inverted one. So you could set your pure color of um, whatever the secondary color is. Set your primary color. Yeah, the one that we're already using is correct. That one just looks too dark. Yep, we're in the one. Let's make sure. Alright, there we go. The knight's outfits. With the orange face to match the rest of the accents on his uh, coloration. And it makes the rest of his body look like armor. No pattern. Let's go get a night wind. Also, we must slay every dragon. Uh, let's see. Whenever we're a dragon, we gotta kill all the knights. And whenever we're a knight, we gotta kill all the dragons. Also, whenever we're Sonic, we gotta eat all the hot dogs. There's not that many hot dogs left these days. It is actually impossible to get the hot dog in the current state of the game unless you got it from Season 1. They did mention that they uh, will probably add them in some way, shape, or form into the future. As it currently stands, all the Season 1 uh, outfits are impossible to get if you don't already have them. So they are probably re-adding them at some point. But as it stands, there's no way to get them if you don't have them. So we'll increasingly see less and less hot dogs. Just because everyone who does have hot dog skin isn't using hot dog skin. And everyone who might want to use hot dog skin doesn't have hot dog skin. A uh, chainmail pattern could work with it. Uh, I don't really like how it looks that much, though, personally. I just like doing it all uh, blue so it looks like armor. And then make it so our body looks like it's yellow. So it matches with the other thing. So it makes the blue look more like our armor and not like our skin. Since obviously the armor doesn't cover your whole body, but you can make it kind of look like it covers your whole body by making the color similar to the uh, armor. And you can either do it with a darker blue or a lighter blue. I go with the lighter blue. It's actually a pretty cheap skin to make as far as um, components. They're all pretty easy to obtain components. Though, if I'm not mistaken, that yellow faceplate might be from Season 1, actually, now that I think about it. It was very early in Season 1 pass. But it's uh, a skin we won't be targeted for wearing, because it's mostly low rarity stuff. Though it is a money skin, the Knight armor, until they add the Dark Knight. There is a Dark Knight version of this, however, it hasn't been released yet. And it will be free. And by free, I mean my kudos or crowns, but um, it won't cost money. The only reason we have this current outfit is because we bought the dragon. Because this is basically a free outfit. <laughs> I would have spent five dollars just for the dragon. This and the wizard basically came free with it. I just ruined that whole tile for everyone. This is gonna fall. Yeah. Let's see, wait. I, just want, I did that extra jump just so we die quicker. Because it's already over, obviously. Oh gosh. No. What are you doing? I'm 
not sure if we can make it in time. Oh gosh, they're gonna weigh that down so much. Okay, we're in a weird position right now. No! Oh, we're in a really bad position. We could actually lose if we're not careful. Really? It literally just respawned me where we already were. We might actually lose Seesaw. A first level Seesaw of all things. Okay, I'm just going to take a left method and just try rushing it. Seems to be the way to go. Alright, let's go get our qualify position. Even from all the way back here, I think we still qualify. You go to the right. Get up there. Weigh it down enough, please. Good. And we qualify. Even after messing up a billion and a half times. That's how easy it is to win Seesaw. Oh, uh, let's go over here. And we still qualify. After like a dozen mistakes. And we're still going to have to wait like a minute. Oh, maybe 30 seconds. Looks like they're about to get in right now. And it's over. Oh, that one guy didn't make it through all the way there. He's like going over the fridge shrines like, nope. No win for you. You know what the night skin actually reminds me of? Bomberman 64. Just because there's an enemy in it that actually looks very similar to it. Oh, good. We got big fans. Bomberman is one of those series that um, seems like it was decently popular in the past and kind of died out. Kind of like Sonic. <laughs> or is a lot more popular in the past than it is today. Though Sonic is still way more popular than Bomberman. Oh gosh, fail. Oh, I wanted him to jump. And then he would have died. <laughs> well, that was the last section for a second, second to last. You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? <laughs> Sonic fell. Not directly because of us, but intimidation killed him. He was too intimidated to not fall for us. Should we troll people or just win? I think we're just gonna win this time. The trolling is fun. Let me go for one troll. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. Hundred percent worth it. <laughs> yeah, the first uh, mega, uh, the Bomberman I ever played was um, Bomberman sixty four. I had a really fun multiplayer in it. Single player was okay. But the multiplayer for it, it would even hold up to today's standards. It was that good. Because it was a lot less grid-based than a lot of the other uh, Bombermans. It had a lot more free movement to it. And there's a lot of um, uh, technique that you can use for that. And there was no jump command. However, you could use your bombs to jump in weird ways. It almost reminded me of kind of like how you move in Zelda games. Where you can't necessarily jump. Well, in Breath of the Wild you can. But, you know, like some of the older ones, like uh, Ocarina of Time. Where you can't really jump, but you can do bomb jumps. Bomberman was actually the same way. Except it was a lot more intended. <laughs> Whereas in Ocarina of Time it wasn't as intended. It was still a mechanic. What's new in this update? Gosh, a lot of things. <laughs> Where do you even start? But uh, they added a lot of variants to every single stage. 
they added this new stage that we're literally playing right now called Big Fans. It has only fans on it. Uh, it's the entire stage is just only fans. Um, they added all the old skins to the shop. Not the Season 1 stuff, I don't believe. But uh, all the old featured items, like the bullet kin that I didn't have, which I believe was the only skin I was missing, uh, was finally in the shop today. Because now um, every single uh, old skin is now in the shop. Except for Season 1, I believe. Um, <laughs> what else they do? They fixed Hexagon, so you can't fall through the... Um, through the cracks. They fixed Jump Showdown so you don't lose A inputs as often. Uh, they did a lot of small bug fixes, fixes like that. And uh, they also added um, random names, <laughs> which is pretty funny. I think we're called Sneaky Snake or something. Sneaky Snake something. Um, and you can just randomize it whenever you want. Though you still can't choose your name, unfortunately. And several other changes. They also added a multi queue system. So I believe we queued into the night stages right now because we're getting a lot of night stages. But, um,. Uh, they made it so you can multi-queue so um, lobbies get filled quicker. So, for example, if you want to go do Medieval Madness, which they have right now, um, you can queue both into the normal stage and Medieval Madness simultaneously. Gosh, a billion people went for that. <laughs> I wasn't even going to try contesting at that point. Alright, we got one point. First of many. Alright, we get two points. Let me take it this way so we can stay up here. Or fail. <laughs> Failing works too, I guess. Come on, four more points. Do we even bother for gold rings? Where even is the gold ring right now? Come on, where are all the standard rings at? There's one. We can stay up here with it for perfect. Okay, there's a ring over there. Oh, this one's closer. Okay, we just need two more standard rings. Oh, or gold. I think we're going to try for the gold, though. It's a little bit far away. We'll take this one and then grab another one. I can actually grab that one right there if I can stop the switch. Let me have it. Ah, oh, that's my winning ring. Come on, I just need one ring. I just need one more. Gosh, I can't even get up this thing. <gasps> yes! Victory! Ah, oh, there we go. They had a new variant that did this stage. Is there are several locations where axes can show up. They can show on all the sides, and they can also show up in the middle. Uh, this stage, we only got the side axes. So we did get some spear in the middle, I guess, on the side there. It's not, like, directly in the middle. Oh, never mind. That's still on the side. But, yeah, we didn't get middle axes. But we got all the side axes. The stage looks like all axes when it gets all the axes. <laughs> like, I think there's over 20 of them. Definitely over a dozen. It's, like, a super high amount of axes. When it gets middle axes and side axes. Oh no, the fast food is not going to win. Hey, he's wearing the skin that we wore last time. Except he's doing it with a little bit different... Oh gosh, he's got completely obliterated by the axe. Let's see if the uh, skin that we wore the previous round wins. He's not using inverted though, so he's obviously going to lose. You can tell by the fact he's not wearing an inverted mask that he's going to lose. I'm calling it now. He's not going to qualify. If he had inverted mask, he would have won. <laughs> That's how this works. Oh gosh, we got tail tag. They said they reduced tail tag numbers, and we already gotten five tail tags in four hours. I guess it's not too bad. Also, they added a new hammer to this stage. As a variant. They also made the variant so you can have a spinny thing in the middle. But, um, that is a really cool new hammer. Let's see, is there only one? Yeah, there's only one. Oh, we didn't get two of them. But this side right over here has it. It's a pretty fun hammer to use. Because it does this. That didn't really save us, did it? <laughs> but it covers a really far distance. Great way to get to the middle. And you can also get to a few other locations with it. Depending on what you want to go for. Oh, 
Yeah, it's a pretty strategic hammer. Has a lot of use. Oh gosh. Oh no, good. He has a tail. I thought it wasn't a tail for a second. We would have lost our tail if he wasn't a tail. So far, so smooth. No, anything could change at any second. Oh gosh, no. Not like that. Okay, let's go all the way over there. I'm coming in! <laughs> Ambush time! No, you don't have a tail, do you? Come on, tail, please. Oh, no! You don't have a tail either. Where's all the tails at? Tail, please. Thank you. Okay, we got it. That was kind of sketchy at the end, but we got our tail. We made it to final. That was the final deciding tail. Because everyone here gets to go to final now. Okay, we got a half Sonic. Uh, no really good skins. So that one guy's wearing inverted. Two inverteds. They're scary. Okay, jump showdown. How many grabbers do we have? Can we get two jump showdown wins in a row? Hopefully. This is our stage, even though we've been doing bad on it today. It's a bit rusty. They're also using some pretty good skins during some of it. We're using a really basic skin right now. So it is a money skin, so we might be targeted for it just because people are salty about money skins sometimes. Like if they really want the skin and they don't have the money for it, they'll kill everyone who wears the skin. Oh, he looked like he was going for a grab, but then didn't. So he might not be a grabber. He might have just been moving close. I'm going to move off that tile. Theoretically, that tile is actually somewhat safer, but uh, it just seems kind of sketchy. Also, Sonic's grabbing. The half Sonic is obviously a half Sonic because he is overly grabby. You can tell he's way too overly grabby, which is how you lose this stage. You make too many enemies way too quick. Even if you could successfully grab kill this early, it's not worth it because you showed you were a grabber way too early. Well, generally the bad players will grab way too much on this stage. Because they don't know the good times to grab. They also tend to grab suicide, so I should probably stay away from him. I don't want to move to the back because he's there and he's going to grab suicide us. 100%. Oh, he's not grabbing anyone right now, which is kind of weird. He was pretty grabby initially and then just completely stopped for whatever reason. I feel like getting a grab. Okay, there he goes to grab. Did I just drop cancel him? I think I did on, on accident. I was like somewhat trying to go for it, but uh... Oh, I did that too early! I still got the kill though, somehow. That was a really sketchy grab. But it did what it needed to do. Dead. One more. Just don't fail this last one. Got it. <gasps> I missed. I missed again. Oh no, I got it that time. Okay, we're fine. Easy. Two jump showdowns in a row. And this time we got it as a knight. Last time we got it, I believe, it was fast food. Oh, and it's tribute time. Perfect timing. Oh, there we go. Got the cool knight skin win. What skin should we do next? Um... I haven't done Sonic today. Gotta go fast. Who you, Sonic? You can also still somewhat camouflage. Then we might go back to um, T-Rex. I mean, not T-Rex. To uh, what's it called? To um, to uh, what's it called? <laughs> the um, the uh, Godzilla. I meant. That's not Sonic. There we go. Sonic. I have to go get a Sonic win. Oh, so one, two, three crowns. Easy as one, two, three. <laughs> okay, let me go update my numbers and go grab tribute for Gems of War. Oh, uh, what's our numbers? We're almost at 400. I don't think we'll hit it this stream, but uh, we might. Depends how long we go today. Depends how long we feel like going. But um, I yeah, might hit the crown number. We'll see. We're getting close. 
We are getting close. We just need four more crowns. Pretty much right on top of it. Alright, so go get a Sonic win. Gotta go fast. Oh, so this is the first time we had DoorDash all day. Which is technically a good thing. DoorDash is horrible. So ridiculously luck-based. Up, oh, someone else is using the night skin we literally were just using. Same color and probably same faceplate and everything. Let me go see. Is he actually wearing the exact same? No, I think he's using a blue faceplate instead of yellow. I did consider doing that, but it seems so much better with yellow. Of course, it would be right next to the double fake. Let's see what faceplate is he using. Oh, yeah, he's using blue. He's a faker. I'm not using the right one. Gotta use yellow because it's more of an accent color. Please let me through. I'm being trampled. <laughs> Gosh, Sonic got a lot of air. The half Sonic. And then we passed him. And there's our victory. And no Yetus over here. Well, that's pretty easy. 43 qualify, we're gonna make like 10. Or fourth, whatever it was, somewhere around there. Top 20%. Where's the special show? I'm currently uh, in both. Uh, there's a new feature in the most recent patch that lets you queue in both. Uh, the special show is medieval only, which we actually got as our previous show, if I'm not mistaken. It's medieval only, but the final is whatever, because obviously uh, there's no medieval final. Um, but uh, it's medieval shows only, with the final being whatever, and then there's the normal show. However, it's possible to queue into both simultaneously as of the patch today. So that's what we have it set to. So whatever gets us the match quicker is what it puts us in. We've been getting a pretty even mix of both. I think we've been getting slightly more of the normal show, but this is because more people by default play normal show. But it's been pretty even on both. Because I'm pretty sure our most previous round that we just did was uh, Medieval. Like it seemed like they were all medieval except for final, which of course was Jump Showdown. Okay, we got a Yetus there. Uh, everything else looks pretty standard, though. Also, is there a single other full Sonic in the lobby? I don't think there is. We should switch back to Godzilla. Godzilla camouflage is the best right now. Because it was the most recent uh, 10 crown skin. Uh, the next one that will be like that is the Goose this Friday, if you want to blend in. Like, everyone's going to be using Goose this Friday. Like, half the lobby for the first several hours is going to be nothing but Goose. And the average lobby is going to have, like, eight geese for, like, the first week or two. But Godzilla is pretty recent. It came out on the 3rd to the 6th, and people are still using it, like, 6 plus per lobby. After a week. Oh no, he got in the way of my hit. How could you? I would grab sabotage you, but it won't make you not qualify. So there's no point in going for it. Also, I just realized that Sonic is wearing the uh, underwear pants thing. Why is the Sonic grabbing another Sonic? Well, I gotta do that, Sonic. I know the new player is not gonna win. And his new player friend also isn't going to win. I should wear that red skin just to troll people. It's probably one of the newbiest skins to wear in the current state of the game. Yet, um... It camouflaged so well. Like, wear uh, that red skin with, um... With, like, a sprinkle pattern. You'll look like a brand new player. Wall guys. And obviously with a white faceplate. Oh, it does look like we have one or two newer players still in the lobby. Unless they're fake newer players. Doing what I just said. <laughs> uh, there's one of them right over there. 
Yeah, they're probably getting eliminated this stage. I highly doubt they'll make it past this stage. If they're an actual new player, they're likely not making it past wall guys. I think you can make it from here, right? I'm pretty sure you can. I'm like 90% certain. You made it. Cover on the wrong side. Wait, what am I doing? We can just walk over here, do this, and then jump over. All right, where's the path? Oh, it's all to win already? Oh, wait, he missed, though. Okay, is it possible to make this jump? I feel like it is, but he failed it. Got it. I was doing that in a certain way, so we'd make sure we'd grab the ledge. If we did that too far, we would have bumped into it, which I think is what he did. He, like, tried getting on top of it. But if you do that, you sometimes hit the corner and you'd fumble wall. First place, easy. Now we get to watch everyone fail. Now we get to watch everyone fall. Oh, gosh, that one guy got salty, and now he's uh, moving the tile. Inverted face mask got salty from everyone else hurting him. So he's like, nope, no one's going to win now. Oh, God, how is this guy that bad? He still hasn't made it past the first section. Or, sorry, second section. Does he not know how to grab? I'm not sure if he knows how to grab the ledge. I'm not sure what he's doing. The mind of a new player. I honestly do not know if he knows how to grab a ledge. He might not know what the grab button even is. <laughs> I'm not sure if he knows what the grab button even is. Oh, no. Because he's not grabbing those tiles either. Yeah, I don't think he knows what the grab button is. Or that he doesn't know he can grab ledges. Oh, the fail is strong. Okay, let's go watch the herd. How's the herd doing? They are failing. Very hard. <laughs> it's almost time. There's only one more qualify spot. Yep, and it's going to end in like three seconds. Why are they just standing there? You're about to lose if you don't go in right now. There you go. Oh, they were just trolling the other guy. Very hard. <laughs> That was the guy that just missed that we saw, too. If he didn't miss that one jump, he would have made it for a qualify. But he missed. So we only got one Sonic left, the underwear Sonic. I'm not sure if he did that because he doesn't have the bottom of Sonic, or if he's just trying to be funny. He might be just trying to be funny. <laughs> because it's pretty funny. We got Rock and Roll. We haven't lost this yet today. But we generally don't lose this stage. It depends how bad your team is. Did we get no variants? Oh, no, we got hammers. Uh, blue team's actually advantageous on this stage. Blue's normally the worst to have. However, on this stage, is actually better. Oh, we got the half Sonic on our team. I guess he's coming to final with us. Because at this point, this should go straight to final. Everything after this stage should be final. Please push. Team. Hello, team. Please do team things. Come on, guys. Don't get it stuck in the thing. Right, at least we can get past this rod pretty easily. Oh, gosh. What on earth is their shaping right now? At least we're kind of in the lead somehow. Like, yellow is so far back that we should be okay. Like, I'm going to let my team do their thing. We're just going to block. Okay, I mostly want to block yellow, though, at this point, I think. Where's our ball? I have no clue where our ball is, but I think we won. Yeah, we won. But just in case, I will block some. Okay, we won. It looks like yellow loses. Unless they get it pushed very far. Which I could. The stage probably takes the longest to hammers. There's a lot of weird shenanigans that can happen. Oh, anyone. Oh, there we go. Also, I still have no clue what determined if you get gold or not. Also, I just realized we had red Sonic. We got Knuckles! And the other half Sonic makes it through because there was no way to eliminate him. Oh, was he showing he was actually decent? I forget. He did a couple of things that seemed somewhat okay. Godzilla is obviously decent. The blackface Godzilla in particular. The other one might be okay as well. But particularly the blackface one. He's not using inverted face, but he's still using, like, the correct color. Like, I always use black face with it. Inverted looks kind of weird, but people still wear inverted with it. Like, it looks like an off black. Like, it's too black for the uh, Godzilla. Like, the black mace, uh, face mask is very rarely useful. However, with Godzilla, it works perfectly. Like, you don't even really see the eyes. It just looks like you have a Godzilla head, which is cool. But an inverted mask is just way too dark compared to how black the Godzilla is, which isn't that black. 
Let's go get a third. Can we actually get three uh, jump showdown? Uh, uh, yeah, jump showdown. Can we get three jump showdown wins in a row? We'll be getting our streak back up. We used to have like 80% win rate on this stage. It's been slowly deteriorating over time. People have been getting a lot more aggressive on this stage compared to in the past. Also, did I just kill myself? I feel like I almost did. That was very sketchy. Those two died. Luckily, we didn't die. That was way too sketchy for its own good. Also, is that going to be a solo tile over there? I don't feel like it will be. But you never know. Yeah, it might. We might be on a single tile. That's going to be harder to grab on. It's a lot harder to grab on single tile. Because you can accidentally kill yourself. Okay, good. We got double. Oh, no. We did get single tile. Oh, gosh. No. This is going to be mayhem with this many people. Like, I want the safe position, please. Where even is the safe position here? Should I start grabbing? I feel like I'm dead if I start grabbing. I'm suspicious of everyone. I don't trust anyone. Did that person try to grab and failed so hard that they killed themselves? I think so. Should I start grabbing? If I don't commit to grab killing everyone, I, as soon as we do our first grab, we lose. I feel like that ninja is going to stay too far to the back if I start grabbing. So I could try to use the Godzilla to torpedo kill him. Hold up. Uh, I didn't work. <laughs> the other guy shielded him. Didn't quite work. Okay. I just need to keep doing that. Three more people. Up oh, or that works. Oh no! Godzilla lived! <gasps> no! Godzilla actually lived that. Oh gosh, that's bad. Dead. Okay, we won. <laughs> Three jump showdowns in a win! In, in a row, I mean. We're starting to get our groove back. And there's the Sonic win. Okay, let's go back to Godzilla, I guess. We got our Sonic win. We killed literally everyone on that tile. That tile started with eight. There we go. Sonic win. All right, let's go update our numbers while we're queued. Actually, let me queue uh, while we go into the other outfit. Where's my Godzilla? Uh, go blackface. Go Godzilla. Where are you? Is this called Godzilla, right? I'm pretty sure it is. So it should be under G's. Yep, it's just called Godzilla. Perfect. Godzilla. There we go. And we don't even need to set our pattern. It's already good to go. Okay, let me go update my numbers. What does the shop say? It's um the same as normal. There's our bullet kin finally. Because those old skins are back. And I think this was the only full set we were missing was the bullet kin. And it's finally back. Oops, I just said it as my skin. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Let me go change it back. <laughs> and the top is the new uh, Viking skin thing. The pink one. We were wearing it earlier stream. It's nothing too interesting. Uh, where's the upper? I need to go switch back to Godzilla. Where's Godzilla at? There we go. But yeah, that skin came out like the first week or two of the game. And I didn't start playing until the third week. So I had no way of getting it. But it became available as of today. As well as every old skin. Except for season um, um, 1 stuff. I don't think season 1 stuff is in the drop table. But every old featured item that has ever existed is now in the drop table. I'm not sure I'm missing anything else. I don't think I am. I think um, Bulletkin was the only thing I was missing. And we got it today. Due to the update. <laughs> the veteran skin. Yeah, from that one animation. Is the skin that veteran was using. Um, prior to today, it was the rare skin in the entire game that you could actually obtain through gameplay. But it's no longer the rare skin anymore. But prior to today, it was the rare skin that could be obtained through gameplay. Making it the rarest of all the legendary 10 crown skins. But luckily, they finally added it to the shop again as of today. Because not only would you have to have had 10 crowns early on in the game cycle, but you also would have had to have started pretty early on in the game cycle. There are sk uh, skins still rarer than it, though. Like the pre-order skin and the um, the beta testing skin. As far as ones you could earn through gameplay, prior to today, it was the rarest one in the game. It still probably is. Because not everyone has a shop fully bought out. So they might not see that skin for another like few weeks. Since that's the shop rotate around. But we see it immediately because we already have the shop bought and out. So there's nothing else that can appear there other than what we're missing. So we have 100% skin completion, I believe, now at this point. Um, not counting pre-order skin and beta skin. 
Uh, we have every skin in the game. Oh, I'm also missing the three that cost 10 bucks for that pack. I've kind of been waiting until it eventually hopefully goes on the sale. Because 10 bucks is pretty expensive for three skins. Especially since none of them I really want to even use. It's the Rainbow Unicorn, which we already have the other version of the Unicorn. Um, some weird um, set that I'm not even sure what it is. And the other one's the Ghost Pirate, which is probably the coolest one from it, the Ghost Pirate. But um, I'm not getting the pack just for <laughs> a 10 hour pack just for the Ghost Pirate. It also gives you 10,000 kudos, but for the obvious reason, we do not need 10,000 kudos. We have more than we could ever know what to do with. There's literally nothing for us to spend kudos on anymore, and we're on like 300,000 or something. Oh, we didn't get the hammer. Did we just get literal default for this stage? I think we did. I think everything was default. Aside from the way that some of the spinny plates move. Because those are randomized per stage now. It's almost impossible to get, like, truly default what it used to be back in the day. Before variants existed. Because every spinny plate would have to decide to be the right way. Which is never the case. Yeah, there's the new Valkyrie one I was talking about. We were at a full set earlier and got a win with it. Don't really intend on using it much beyond that point, though. Oh, and there's a person to the top left of us using the full set. And they made it as well. Wait, how many Godzillas do we have in play? We got one, two, three, four, five, kind of. If you count all the halves. Oh, six if you count all the halves. So the full body ones blend a lot more. I don't think anyone's wearing the exact same full. As in the same faceplate and everything. I think one of the other folds were a inverted and the other one was a white. Not sure why you would wear white with it unless you literally just had no other option. But if you have 10 crowns for spend for that skin, you probably have a different option. Maybe it's like the default white. Yeah, there's that one pirate skin. That one guy right over there. It's basically a 10 hour skin since it's the only really good skin within the set. Just a bit too pricey. What if you could use kudos to choose your first stage? What I would love to see is a way to spend kudos to go straight to a final. Like queue up into a 10 person final where you could spend like 1,000 kudos or a few thousand, whatever they end up balancing it to. And then you go straight to a final where you can win a crown. And obviously everyone who queued into that would have spent uh, however many thousands of kudos to get in. And then whoever wins gets a crown. So you go straight to final without having to do anything else. I would love to see that. Almost pay to win, I guess, in a way. Because you can technically buy kudos. But obviously we got all of ours for free. But, um... I don't know, it saves you the time of having to go through all of these stages just to get to a final. Because obviously the main thing that matters most of the time is the final. Unless you get absolutely trolled by a team game, which we might have to get hit here. But uh, generally speaking, the only reason you'll ever lose prior to a final is the stages prior to a final. <laughs> like, the final itself is like the main thing you're going for, obviously. Everything else is just padding until you get to the final. Because the final is the only stage that matters. We can qualify at like 95% of the time or so. It's just the final that actually determines if anything actually happens or not. Also, it'd be much easier to get a quick lobby too. Since if it only required 10 people and you're one of those 10 people, you can get in instantly. They do need to make sure you can't go in as teams, though. Because if you could go into teams into that, that would be so broken. Because you could bring, like, three, four people <laughs> and, like, auto-win the final. As long as they disable teams for it, I feel like it would be pretty balanced. I think you can make that jump right. Yes, you can. And you should be able to make this as well. Wait, is that already there? I don't think you can make that, can you? Oh, <gasps> you can! We already won. Easy. Give us that free win. That was one of the freest wall guys we ever had. 
And now he waits. See, if he could go straight to final and just pay like a few thousand kudos, he wouldn't have to wait through all this. That or some kind of rank system. We have to pay kudos to get in or something. I'm not sure. We need something other than skins to spend kudos on. Possibly even crowns. I really hope they do eventually have a rank system though. Because eventually the player base is going to get so small that it's going to be all the tryhards anyways. <laughs> so you might as well. Are they all just literally standing there doing nothing? Really? I probably have enough time to make a bathroom break. I'll be right back. <laughs> this will be a while. I didn't even realize. Did we get all of the, um, I think we queued into the, um, medieval, uh, stages. Okay, we got top axes. Uh, that's only one of the three sets of axes that can appear. Oh, where's the gold ring at? It's in a really weird location right now. Oh, my A input failed. Miserably. What? Why did you not get up? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take the side ones here. Wait, where are all the side ones? I got gypped. I think you can make it from here, right? Looks close enough. You know what else looks close enough? <gasps> no! <laughs> Not quite. Alright, there goes one gold ring. Ooh, I want that so badly. Oh, I should have waited till the upwards tile tilt. Okay, where do we get back up to the top at? I guess over here. Right, it's kind of sketchy. We could actually lose this if we're not careful. Where's next gold ring? Let's find over there. I might go for defaults. I'm not sure. I feel like we have to go for gold ring at this point, though, to win. Oh gosh, why? We replaced the ring with another ring. Okay, right, someone grabbed a gold from the middle there. Just kind of trying to scout out. I need a gold. We have to get gold at this point. Okay, it's all the way over there. Gosh, why must you be on the other side of the map? If we don't get the gold, we lose. I'm just gonna camp middle. Yes, please. No, we lost. It's over. We actually lost on the stage. No, we actually lost in Hoops of Legends. I think that was the first one all day. Rippity. Unfortunate. Oh no, that wasn't the old um, medieval stages. We just happened to get two in a row. No, we have failed. No gold rings wanted to spawn by us, and we kept failing getting to the top section. Oh, so I think we only didn't qualify three times today. One was on a tail tag, one was just now, and the other one was, um, I think one of the team games, which is kind of to be expected. <laughs> Hit parade, free win. Like, almost no one goes for the super shortcut here. 
It's even easier if they're not spinny things. Ah, uh, we got spinny things. It's still doable on this uh, when it is like that, though. These have to be on the quicker side. Though if you're solo pushing, it can be a bit slower. Also, we got a really bad starting spot. Middle is actually the absolute worst to start on, the quicker method. Easy. <gasps> no! Oh, we barely didn't get hit there. That almost hit us in. Like we dove under the spikes. And there's our first. Easy free win. The freest of free. Oh, the guy's wearing a burger. Oh, he's not wearing yes yellow for mustard, though. Or red for ketchup. Oh, one of the newer players made it through, too. Good to see. Makes the later stages easier. Also, was that the same orange guy that I didn't know how to grab earlier? No, it's a different orange guy. Unless he finally got a new bottom skin. It's the same coloration, but he's using a different pattern if it is the same guy. It is the same color. Which almost makes me think he unlocked the crown and then was like, oh, I'm going to use this. He might have been the same guy from earlier. <laughs> who knows? Probably not, though. But that was the guy who didn't know how to grab on the... Um, on the um, wall guys one stage like he went the whole stage without grabbing and obviously lost <laughs> because he wasn't grabbing he didn't know how to grab at all there's no new final the only new one was the um, the uh, the big fans the only fan stage no new final was added this season hopefully next season adds a new final I kind of thought they would add a new final every season. But then when you think about it, it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't. Because we'd have an absurd amount of finals after like a year. <laughs> if they added a new final literally every season. It'd be way too many finals. <gasps> Ew, gold egg, gold egg. No, oh, he got the gold egg in. No. That's very unfortunate. I could probably take this to the middle if he'd stop grabbing me for a few moments. Okay, I'm not going to be taking it to the middle. It's too risky. There guys go. There's a gold. Go win. Keep it there. Okay, who do we attack? I want to attack someone. Where's that gold egg at? No, this is a normal egg. Let's go attack blue. They're losing. I don't think they have a gold egg though, do they? Uh, they might. Yeah, they do. I'll take their normal eggs. Oh gosh, I didn't throw that far enough. I should have done a dive. Okay, I almost fix physicked it out of this cage. I'll steal their normal eggs since they're so worried about the gold. Actually got the gold out. They physicked it out of the stage rather than the uh, bin for them. Can I make this? I think I can. Got it. <laughs> What's he doing? Put it in there. There you go. I got you a gold. All right, just for fun, let's go attack red, I guess. We have no reason to, but why not? Let's see if we can steal one egg from red between now and the end of this stage. I'll take a normal egg. Gosh, they have like a billion people defending. They even have the other op opposing team defending. <laughs> okay, wow. They have like half the stage, if not more, in their bin. I'm pretty sure two-thirds of every person in this stage is in Red's area for no reason. No one was getting eggs out of there. They had a whole wall up. They had such a wall that other people were becoming part of the wall that weren't even part of their team. Well, hey, we won. And blue got zero. <laughs> Block party.
I just realized we got a blue knight. We gotta kill him because he's not a yellow knight. You gotta use the yellow faceplate. At least I got the other color right, though. Are you the blue knight from earlier? How long can we stand here and do nothing? Not, not long, apparently. <laughs> not too long. I like we got grabbed there, though. I'm not sure if that was just her block. I hope we eventually get the mist stage for this stage. They had like a disco stage, but it had like a mist effect, so you couldn't see the tiles coming. So it was a lot harder to know where to go to dodge. They're probably going to be using that for some kind of future uh, season as a variant. I would love to see heavy mist for the stage, though. So you can't really see it until like it's actually physically here. Like once it crosses that purple line, you would then be able to see it. Because you then you can't preemptively move. It also caused people to have to be further back. Also, we almost just died. I think we did. Uh, no, we lived. Barely. Gosh, that was sketchy. What pattern are we getting? Oh, easy pattern. We already won. Also, is that a fake default? I haven't been paying attention to him. I didn't realize that was default skin. Oh, he's wearing yellow mask. That was available last season. He's not actual default. He played some last season. I feel like he's a fake default. But why would he wear yellow then? He would end up wearing a white mask if he was. Who knows? Maybe he just likes a pink body with a yellow mask. Alright, we should have one more stage in final. Hopefully we can win the final. We have three jump showdown wins in a row. Maybe we'll get four. Keep up our infallible uh, jump showdown apparently. Oh, first time we got tiptoed today. Please give us new variants. There's like three new variants for the stage. Okay, did we get the hammer? I can't even tell because it's underneath the stage if it is. I think this might be default. Looks pretty default to me. Right, let's go in the middle just to see if there's a hammer. No, there's no hammer. Okay, it's 100% default. Oh, come on. The first time we get tiptoed, we don't even get any new variants for it. Did he just find a path? No. He tried, though. He tried. Um, I'm scouting the area. It's one of two paths. But they haven't... Oh, wait, wait, wait! It's straight! <gasps> oh, we got the last qualify. I was going to say we're not going to qualify. I was going to go for the grab, but I'm not sure if it would have made our momentum go back too far. Oh, that was super sketchy. Last qualify on tiptoe. I haven't lost tiptoe for a while. That'd be a fail. Okay, this should go to final. Hopefully jump showdown. I want to see four jump showdown wins in a row. Let's go get an infallible for jump showdown alone. That's actually how we carried into infallible the first time. I think we had like two or three jump showdowns in there. Yeah, come on. We got three jump showdowns in a row. Let's go get a fourth. Let's go get an infallible jump showdown. We need one more. We already have infallible achievement, but uh, let's get an infallible five jump showdowns in a row. Watch, it's going to troll us by not giving us a uh, jump showdown. Even if we win this, we're going to get not jump showdown next. So it won't be possible to get five jump showdown wins in a row. Yeah, this is our stage. So we have lost it three times today in a row. But then we won it three times in a row. And in a row, I mean literally back-to-back -back when we did the threes. The three losses weren't back-to-back, -back, but the three wins were... Got a couple good skins in the uh, lobby, though. Also, it looks like we might get a single tile, which is... Actually, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Depends on how many people we have alive. If we still have this many people alive and we're on single tile, it'd be awful. However, we're close enough that it looks like it's going to double tile. Yep, double tile. Oh gosh, I almost got killed there. Looks like a lot of people did, actually. <laughs> well, that got rid of some people, at least. Should I grab someone? This guy's a free kill right here. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I've lost. Okay, let's play it safe now. 
We've shown ourselves to be a grabber. Okay, this thing's not moving quick enough. This rod is moving way too slow to kill. <laughs> come on, Rod. Speed up a bit. Thank you. How are, uh, come on, Rod. Speed up a little bit more. You're not moving quick enough to get kills. I grabbed like five people and still haven't gotten a kill from it. Because it's still moving too slow. We are such a grabber right now. We are marked as a permanent grabber for the rest of this. Though I think we've set up so much grab intimidation, no one's going to try to grab us. Why would you grab suicide? No! Oh, I hate when people make dumb moves that dumb. This is why you don't grab early. Because people that don't know how to grab will grab suicide you. I hate it. This is why you never grab too early. And we definitely grabbed way too early. Content update. We already restarted the game. How many small patches are you doing? That hurts. But yeah, that's why you never start grabbing as early as we did. Uh, for one, this rod doesn't move quick enough. But the other reason is people will grab suicide you. Which is very unfortunate. But hey, we got three in a row. I'll take it. They aren't going to try to grab it. I know, right? Well, you can end up doing that. You can build up so much grab intimidation that no one dares touching you. That is possible. But you have to actually get kills. <laughs> if you're failing the grabs, then you're just going to get anti-grab. But if you're actually, like, killing every person you grab, people normally get so intimidated that they don't even move near you. But we failed every kill, so people weren't afraid to go near us. And then he grabbed suicide with us. Now, if he was that bad of a player, he would have grabbed suicide with us regardless. I think he just wanted to see us die. <laughs> he didn't care if he wins. If he actually did care what if he won, then I have no clue why he did that. I don't understand why people go for grab suicides on those stages. There's a big difference between grabbing and grab suiciding. Grabbing, you actually try to kill people while living yourself. Whereas grab suiciding is you do like the dumbest grab ever and then you both die. <laughs> because there's no way for either of you to counter out of it. Which I don't really understand why people do that. I think it's mostly because they don't know how to grab. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe just really want to see someone else die. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's kind of like people who grab at the beginning of Fall Mountain and just hold you there for, like, five seconds. Like, they aren't doing it to win. They're just doing it to make sure you lose. <laughs> like, it has nothing to do with them winning at all. Like, stuff like that, I just wish was impossible to do in these stages. Where you can literally just throw away someone else's win. By also throwing away your own chance of winning. It's really annoying. Because one person who just doesn't want to win can just make it so someone who wants to win will have a 100% chance of losing. And that's possible on every final stage as well. Though it's slightly less possible on some. Like if you get a uh, breakaway on Fall Mountain, it's not possible. And if you could stay higher than other people on Hexagon, it's not possible. But it's still possible if they're at the same level as you. Like right next to you. Oh, that one guy got a really good hit, that one blue guy. Can we make this? No. Are we going to stay here until we do? Yes. I will stay here until there's enough weight on the other side for us to win. Thank you. Oh gosh, he actually got the hit. There we go. And we're in. Oh, hello, Flame. Welcome. Let's see how many other people go for the hammer. Oh, he got a good hit as well. I was going to say he's a newer player, but he's actually not. He's wearing that red skin, but he's uh, wearing inverted mask. Which obviously means he's good. <laughs> That's like the easiest tell of any player. Is if they have inverted mask or not. It's currently the only legendary mask in the game, which is why. Though, as of today, it's not as of as much of a tell. It used to be in the past. Though, I, give it another week and it might not be as much of a tell. Because now it's in the bottom of the shop. Prior to today, it was never in the bottom of the shop. But now it can be. So, it's a bit less of a tell now. Although, you still need to have quite a few spare crowns to bother going for it. It only costs two, but to spend two for something like that, you would normally need to have some spares. 
Like, it's definitely not a first priority that most people would go for. Okay, we got the little spinny things. Well, technically everything there spins. But that's the easier one to go through, especially if you have a lead. It's actually more annoying if you don't have a lead. But it's way easier if you do have a lead. And one person failed the shortcut. And that person's about even with us, so I think we'll beat him through. We'll find out if we don't fail. Easy first. There we go. I feel like everyone in that one bullet can skin. Just got it today. Because a lot of people haven't been able to get it for ages. So Fruit Chew. Fruit Chew has quite a few interesting variants. And almost always there's a variant now as well. So we got Side Hammers. And we have... Well, we don't know what the fruit is until they start coming out. Anything but bananas. Banana only is vicious. Okay. It looks normal, actually. For fruit. Yeah, it looks like we got normal fruit. But we just got uh, hammers on the side. We got hammer time. Yeah, the fruit looks perfectly normal this time. It's actually the first time we got normal fruit all day. We got all watermelon. We got all banana twice. Gosh, that guy got a lead, but uh, he got hit like a billion times up there. So it looks like he's going to get first. From that very good uh, hammer hit. He risked it in one first. Took the risk and got it. But yeah, the fruit itself is actually normal fruit. It just has two free hammers. Also, you can get hit from the back. I want to see that happen at some point. A footage of someone, like, almost winning. And then they get hit by, like, an orange from the back. Because the hammer hit them. <laughs> because that would be really funny. Like, you're almost about to do the final jump there. And then from backwards, an orange just hits you in the face. Or in the back. Because the hammer hit it that far. You'd have to have a really weird angle. And it would have to come at it at really quick speed. But it's definitely possible. This would be very rare. Hoops a daisy. So far we have not lost this today. Our teams have been decent. Oh, so there's a new variant of this. Uh, there's a variant where gold rings spawn way, way quicker. Like, noticeably quicker. Like, there's no way it's not spawning quicker, quicker. Like, it is so ridiculously noticeable. Like, the second a gold ring goes down, it goes right back up. All right, we're in dead last right now. That was mostly because someone got a gold. I think this is a normal gold ring one. Otherwise, you'd constantly see a gold ring in play. Oh, good. My team stole that one. All right, we're pretty much even right now. <gasps> gold ring! No! Oh, I couldn't get a grab on him. It wasn't close enough. Very unfortunate. Oh, yeah, blue team's losing, so as long as we can keep blue team disabled. Good. Our team got that. I don't want to grab this. There's no one here to contest it. Maybe we can grab that. I kind of want that one, because he's not going to be able to grab it now. No, I failed. Gosh, we all failed. 
<laughs> that was a lot of fail going on there. It was very high concentration of fail. <gasps> no! Why did you not grab him properly? That could have been our ring. Oh, at least it was red team and not blue team. I think we're fine to win at this point. Blue would need like two gold rings to make a comeback at this point. Okay, red getting that's actually not a bad thing. As long as it's not blue team. Oh, pff, wow, that fell. I hit like the edge of the uh, ring. Oh, red team got it, so. As long as it's not blue, it literally does not matter what team gets it. As long as blue team doesn't get it. Okay, we won. It's over. I'll grab him just for fun. Come back over here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, uh, perfect match is nearly non existent now. They reduced it by a lot. They did it for uh, Tail Tag 2. However, we got Tail Tag like four times. We only got perfect match once. Or sorry, twice. We got it once without variant and once with variant. I hope we get the variant one again. I accidentally died trying to get a grab. But only four people survived the um, first survived the uh, variant when we got it. Jump showdown again. Oh Gosh, we got five jump showdowns in a row, which I'm perfectly happy with. But um, we couldn't get our five wins in a row. Someone grab suicide us on the previous one. So let's wait a little while before we grab. Uh, the biggest issue we did uh, previous match, we grabbed too early. And then someone uh, did a very dumb move. <laughs> and then we both died. Grab suicide's not counterable. Grabbers are counterable, but not grab suiciders. And you're going to get some kind of noob to grab you if you uh, do too many grabs. It's only a matter of time. Okay, Godzilla's a grabber. Oh gosh, there's two Godzillas though. I'm a Godzilla. So now people might think I'm a grabber by him being a grabber. I heard another grab. I didn't see where it was from though. Okay, do we bail to the other tile? I feel like the answer is yes if this blue one falls. Hmm. I'm gonna stay here. All the better players went to the other tile. So we could just own this tile. Even though it has more people. Most of the better players are on the other tile. Also, it's easier to get from this tile to that tile than it is to get from that tile to this tile. Which is the main reason why we stood here. I should have went for a grab. That was such a free kill. Oh, well, we still technically killed. <laughs> Indirectly, we killed that person. Without needing to grab or anything. Okay, should I go for grabs? There's still too many people on my tile. Oh, he lived. He's the only person who might have saw in that that was a grab, though. Ooh, I grabbed too early. Okay, see? Now, that's what a grabber looks like. Notice how he let go and lived. A grab suicider would have kept holding and we both would have died. Like, he actually knows how to grab. Okay, so he's he's the biggest threat on this tile because he knows what he's doing. The uh, hunter guy. I wouldn't even be surprised if he tries grabbing me now. I really hate my location relative to theirs. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> one more left. Well, technically three. So, you know, one more in the tile. Come on, how are you not dead? I'm grabbing too early, but still. <gasps> no! Ah, oh, he actually got it too. No, we lost a grab fight. I was not expecting him to outlive the hunter guy. Oh, the Grabby Godzilla's still alive. Let's see if Grabby Godzilla wins. He won his uh, tiles grab fight. Let's see if he wins the whole thing. Because it basically comes down to jumping. I feel like the guy who was on our tile is going to win. The one who we couldn't kill. Because Godzilla was grabby way too early to actually win the whole thing. If you're that grabby, you probably don't know how to properly jump. Because he was grabbing way too early. Oh, what is he doing? Really? We lost to that guy? <laughs> That's the way he dies. Okay, uh, grabby Godzilla one. 
Googly Yellow Villain is his name. So many random, really funny words. Ah, there we go. Unfortunate. Alright, let's try again. Uh, let's see, final stages. 18. Total crown. Oh, wait. Um, don't update total crowns. We didn't win a crown. <laughs> Not today. The other Godzilla got it. <laughs> Not us. All right, about 50% win rate today. If we can win this next stage. Yeah, I think we have Sneaky Snake title right now. It was like something Sneaky Snake. a lobby populating Okay, Seesaw. I really wish they would have Fruit Shooters. They have Cannon Stairs if they would, but they never have. So it would have been a perfect update to add them. But who knows, maybe they did and we just didn't get it. Though the stage definitely does not have it. I would love to see some Fruit Cannons. Which would weigh down the tiles. I think they think it would make the stage take way too long. Which already does. <laughs> because it would take the ma make the stage take longer. If there was Fruit Throwers. Good old fruit cannons. Easy. Should we double shortcut? Yeah, we're in position to double shortcut. Oh, I did that slightly wrong. But there we go. Easy. Easy first place. With the power of respawning. You can't do that for the final one, it's too far forward. See, and that's how you win Seesaw when you're not in first place. At the beginning. You can just do that and then boom, you're in first place. Unless someone else does the same method. Free win. Give us that extra kudos. Not like we need them. <laughs> Our stack is too big to begin with. Yep, more is better than not more. Who knows? Maybe kudos will be useful eventually. It's currently a dead currency in this game, though. If you have everything. Because there's nothing left to spend it on. <laughs> Same as crowns. Like, they're both useless currencies once you have everything. There's no alternative thing to sink them into. But there might be eventually. I still wish some kind of mode or something was locked behind kudos. Can you still jump across the finish line to the other? Uh, I'm not sure if you can make that jump in the current state of game. It might still be possible. I've never tried. Because missing it uh, means you respawn all the way back over there. I know the newer pigeon loss. He's been playing for a while if we had that from season one. He's been playing for a month and he still can't win. least on and off for a month because you definitely had to play that some amount for season one to have that skin we got jinxed i haven't lost jinx yet today though me, i think we only had it once today we survived with two people us and one other person we're actually both at the same location too oddly enough a <laughs> one month new pigeon
But yeah, the Pigeon Noob outfits seem kind of weird in the current state of the game. Because to have it, you'd have to be playing for quite a bit of time already. Unless you just barely played at all during that duration. But you've had to have been playing the game for at least um, uh, a little over a month to be a Pigeon. But also still be bad. Hello, goodbye. Oh gosh, I can't see. Camera angle, why? Camera angle killed us. Why, camera angle? Why? Why well, I gotta do us dirty? That's a very overpowered camera angle. I should probably have a nine alive right now. Where are all of them? On the other side? Wait, there's one alive on this side. Gosh, he's still alive too. Someone got him, gosh. Okay, I got one of them. I didn't get the other guy, though. We might actually lose. Come on, one guy. Survive forever. Come on, team. Why aren't you grabbing him? Yeah, good. We actually won that. Whoever was the last survivor, good job. <laughs> I just have to lobby. That's the only good thing about Jinx, is if you win, half the lobby goes away. It's actually the second. Uh, it's actually the highest elimination second stage as far as consistently eliminating. So even though Jinx is an awful stage, if you win it, it's actually good because you get a lot of noobs into the later stages. You know, most of them die at this stage right here, whatever this next stage is. So I'll notice a um, increased amount of bad players on this stage. Oh, it's tipped though. The newer players can kind of know how to not lose here. If you just stay in the herd and don't fall, you can qualify. Okay, right, let me go check to see if the hammer's here. We haven't gotten a new variant on this stage yet. There's a few new variants. One of them's a hammer that can be under here. Oh, we got it. We got a hammer. It's hammer time. I failed the hammer though. <laughs> Should I try it? I'll try it again. Got it. <laughs> ah, our first hammer play. We got it. Oh, we got it. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't always play out like that. But that was a really good first experience with the hammer down there. That's one of the new variants for that stage. Though I slightly hate how it invalidates solving the puzzle. But it's still really funny. I know, that was pretty lucky. That was just a straight path. <laughs> Otherwise, obviously, we would just fell to our death and showed them a bunch of info. So that was very lucky. <laughs> very, very lucky. All right, we only have six people for fall ball. Get over their head. Oh, good, we scored. I thought that it was them scoring on us for a second. But no, that was us scoring. Good. Okay, they got over their heads. Okay, we're going to play offense now. Wait, did that make it in? Nice. That Sonic just got a great shot there. Can't believe that actually made it in. Oh, gosh, we tripped over nothing. Okay, that was a good grab by him, though I kind of failed to hit. <laughs> good grab by him, but I failed to follow up. I'll pass it to him. Maybe we can get a good shot right there. A slightly bad angled, but at least it's on their side. I'll play offense on it. I don't think they're going to really contest it. I want guys AFK at this point. And Sonic already got it. Gosh, the Sonic's actually really good at this game. I think he scored like half the goals, if not more. I think he scored like three out of five. I haven't really scored any, but we've just been passing the ball to them. Gosh, we're actually going to gold medal this stage. It's actually the hardest stage to gold medal. You have to beat the opposing team by 10 points to gold medal. So at this point, if we just score two more, we get a gold medal. But all it does is slightly mark who does. It's not even that big a deal. 
That it gives more fame if you haven't finished the pass, though. But we've been finished with the pass since, like, day three. Okay, as long as they don't score on us, we get a gold medal. For winning this stage. The super win. The platinum win right there. Gosh, we're going to beat them by, like, 11 or 12 at this rate. There's 11. And here comes 12. Let's see, can we get one more power shot out of nowhere? Nope, the football. There we go, gold medal. Slightly more kudos achieved. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't really need a goal as long as you assist. <laughs> like, you don't have to be the one getting the goal. As long as your team gets it, obviously. Yeah, they were absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> what was that, 12 at the end or something like that? As long as you win by 10, you get gold, though. Which is the hardest gold medal. It's the hardest stage in the game, the gold medal one. Oh gosh, we got Royal Fumble. However, the only other Royal Fumble we got all day, we did win. Maybe we can get another Royal Fumble win. There was a six-person one earlier. How many do we have left? Six? Yeah, I think we have another sixth Royal Fumble. Which is max capacity. You can't have more than six people for the stage, I don't believe. Could you imagine if Royal Fumble was more than six, though? 20-person <laughs> Royal Fumble go. Obviously, Tail Tag is kind of like that, but... uh, It's a bit different. I see you there, by the way. I just don't want to take your tail yet. I'm just stalking you. Getting ready. Does no one want to take his tail? <laughs> like, everyone's stalking him, but not taking his tail. How on earth has he not lost his tail yet? Gosh. Look at that tail. Thank you. Okay, now we just have to hold it for one minute. Oh, or not. Gonna hide over here. That's why we hit over there. <laughs> Hiding techniques. The meta is evolving. You know what? I'm actually gonna go right back. Same direction I just went. Hello, Sonic. Goodbye, Sonic. Can we win? Okay. Somewhat sketchy. I think we got it, though. I think we could do breakaway right now. Oh, gosh. The timer's way too long. <gasps> no, I somewhat failed there. I think we can still get high him, though. <gasps> no! Yes! How on earth did we not get grabbed there? <gasps> How did we not get grabbed? Nice! <laughs> Mega Snaking Snake, indeed. That name is very accurate right now. Mega sneaking snake. <laughs> we slid her to victory with the skull. Uh, I almost said skull with the uh, crown. Well, we have 100%. Um, um, oh, gosh. We got all golds. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Pure gold. And one of those is a soccer gold, too. We just obliterated that lobby. <laughs> we got gold, 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 gold. And we got one of them being the hardest gold in the game. Gosh, it got obliterated. So we first placed. Look at all the first places we got that round. We got a first place on um, Seesaw, then a first place on, I actually forget what stage that is. Is that the new stage, I think? Uh, then we got a uh, first place on Tiptoe with that really amazing um, hammer hit. Then we completely obliterated the fall ball, and then we won, um, uh, what's it called? Royal Fumble. There we go. That was a really nice set. Uh, let's go update our numbers. Actually, let's queue while we're uh, updating numbers. Oh, uh, let's see. That was a very solid set. Really fun one, too. Uh, 19. 8. 9. One more win, and we got 10 wins today. And two more wins, and we got 400 crowns. Which I might try going for this stream. We're already so close. We might as well go all the way. That might be the goal of the stream. Hit 400 crowns. Do I say that? Whenever I say that, I feel like it takes like literal hours to get the final crown. Like we'll get to 399 within like the next like 15 minutes, and then the 400th crown will take like two, three hours. <laughs> I, mean, I think we're making that the goldish stream. Let's get 400 crowns. Pretty close.
<laughs> a 12 hour stream. Ah, <laughs> no. I'll probably stream till we get 400 crowns, though. So it's not going to take that long. <laughs> it could take as low as an hour or as high as like four hours <laughs> if we do like ultra bad, like right now. Whoa, on earth am I doing? Stop failing. It's a new course, but we're not that. Oh, I, I'm not sure what is about this course. But this specific stage, I feel like your character is heavier. I'm not sure if they might have not tweaked the physics correctly for the stage. But um, something about it just really feels like you're heavier. Also, I shouldn't have grabbed a Godzilla as Godzilla. We can't really camouflage as a different Godzilla if we are the Godzilla. <laughs> or, you know, if we're grabbing a Godzilla. Because he's the guy who we're camouflaging with. So obviously the Godzilla will know that the Godzilla grabbed him if there's only one other Godzilla. But luckily there's a second one, so I guess it doesn't matter. I can grab this person. Oh, I wasn't close enough. I don't think we're going to grab Troll too much, though. Though there was enough Godzillas that we could. So I'm not sure if they have the same face mask. If we could confirm that they did, I might. But I haven't seen a single Godzilla with the exact same. So let's take our fall fly. I don't know. Do we want to troll someone? <laughs> oh, I almost got it. If I would have done a dive there, I would have gotten past. Okay, I guess we're trolling a little bit. It's too much fun to not go for. Oh, he died without us even needing to do anything there. Embrace the salt. <laughs> Oh, he made a pass. Oh, he made a pass too. This is such a fun grabbing location. It's also really good practice for uh, Jump Showdown, actually. Even though it's not exactly the same premise. But it's uh, similar enough. <laughs> Got it. Hello. Gosh, what on earth did that grab do? <laughs> I like teleported him. Okay, I really wish you could see the invisible timer. Go for it. Got him. Oh, they all made it. Okay, I need to stop grabbing people soon. We're about to get time killed. We'll go for one more cycle of grabs. Come on, go for it. It's perfectly safe. <gasps> no! <laughs> we died the time! <laughs> oh, I trolled people too long. I was about to go there after one more cycle. I wish you could see the invisible timer. I hate that it's invisible. <laughs> we had fun, though. That was good practice. Oh, that's the first time we lost that stage. So does that really count <laughs> as losing the stage? That's funny. <laughs> That's what you get for being toxic. That's how you're supposed to play that stage. That is 100% the intended way that they probably wanted you to play that stage. Why else would they put a little spinny thing of death there? That is obviously the intended way to play the stage. Just troll the final tile for until the timer goes out. <laughs> that is 100% the intended way to play that map. It's basically Seesaw, but good. Is basically what um, Big Fans is. It's literally just Seesaw, but good. That's the easiest way to uh, describe the new um, Big Fan stage. We need to figure out how long this stage actually is. And then set a timer every single time that stage starts to know how long we get trolled for. Oh no, was that duck in our other lobby? He grabbed us. <laughs> or it could just be because we're in Godzilla. 
But watch out for the white duck. Though there are multiple white ducks. But one of the white ducks wants to kill us for whatever reason. He must have been in our previous lobby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No, I don't think we grabbed the white duck on the previous lobby. Oh gosh, that tile's gonna fall. Oh no, it's fine. Our glitter all kind of going in the middle, rather than the side. Oh wait. I'll wait again. And then we win. There we go. It's a goose in disguise. Uh, the goose skin's coming out this Friday. It's gonna cost 10 crowns. Obviously, we have plenty enough. <laughs> but it comes out this Friday. Get your 10 crowns ready. We're not gonna be streaming Fall Guys that day, though. Just imagine every player being a goose. Just visualize that in your head. Instead of pretending they're naked, pretend they're all goose. And that will be Friday. <laughs> Envision them all as a goose. And that will be literally like two thirds of every lobby <laughs> for most of Friday. And then after that, it'll be like eight to ten per lobby for like a week or two. Kind of like how Godzilla still is very heavily populated right now. A new player might make it. Though he doesn't understand the physics of that end jump. Oh, he lost to not knowing the physics of the end jump. No, he could have qualified. He could have qualified. So close. He'll eventually learn. But yeah, we got a lot of Godzillas, though. None of them are wearing the black face. Well, one's wearing inverted. That's not the same. We got four Godzillas. Counting ourselves. I think only two of them are full. There's only like two or three full Godzillas. And one of them's wearing a blue face, which makes him distinctly different. Oh, rollout. We haven't been getting much rollout today. I don't think rollout got any new variants. I don't think rollout has ever gotten a new variant. What on earth is that camera doing, though? Oh! <gasps> I lied. It got a new variant. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wait, is the middle really bad to be in? Why is the fruit only going to the middle? Like, it's only coming from the one side. So you gotta use these, like, blast panels. Hold up, you gotta, like, play like these are blast panels. Oh, that's amazing. You get fruit. I was wondering what the camera was doing. But yeah, we got a new rollout variant. The first new rollout variant, actually, ever. They get pelted with fruit. Well, the side method I normally do is even stronger during this. Because you can just use these as cover. They also don't seem to shoot that far to over to the left. They do occasionally. Yeah, it's a really cool variant. I like it. Oh, look at all the fruit just staying there. Okay, I'm going to go over here just for cover. Oh, gosh, a banana. The vicious banana. Oh, I'm in a really bad spot right now. And we just moved to an additional really bad spot. And he almost got blueberried. I almost feel like they could get stuck in those spinners down there. Below the course. But apparently not. I'm actually surprised how long this is going on for. Given the fruit. I don't feel like as many people are grabbing because of the fruit though. Because most people probably see the fruit for the first time right now. I know we are. There was a new variant added today. Oh gosh, we even got watermelon. And we're in. That's a pretty cool variant. We still haven't seen the fruit version of uh, Jump Club though.
Wall guys. Oh, tribute ready. We'll grab it when we can. If we went wall guys quick, we'd probably grab it. What's the path? Oh gosh, the uh, the last two sections don't have any quick path. So if we're going super quick, we won't gain much of advantage. I'm trying to grab the corner. Not quite possible. Okay, and the first people that get over there will have to make the path because there's no uh, there's no path established currently. But I lie, is that a path? Can you make that? I don't think you can make that. I am very doubtful that jump is makeable. Especially if I grab people. <laughs> oh, it is makeable. Okay. This is making sure. That technically is makeable. If you don't get pushed by someone else as you're trying to make it. Ah, I tried going for the dive over to the side. We could actually lose this if we're not careful. Ah, that one guy got in our way. Couldn't make it. No! Oh gosh, we're not able to make it up there now. This is bad. Good. Okay, we should be fine now. Barely. We could have barely qualified this. tomato guy the salt has intensified for the tomato that is one salty tomato that tomato is filled with pure salt at this point <laughs> also hello uh, uh mayor how do you say that name may or reprian welcome but yeah we beat out that tomato by like half a second <laughs> that was super sketchy but a qualify is a qualify Okay, I don't think we got any very- oh no, we got rods. The top is normal though. Hopefully I have a good team. We haven't lost this yet today, but it only takes one bad team. Also we got blue, which is technically the worst team to have for this game mode. The only time blue is better is if you have hammers. In every other uh, instance, it's actually the worst spot to start. Okay, I'm gonna go break ahead a little here. So we can both do this. It looks Oh, come on guys. Where are you guys going? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you're standing there to do it, and then you don't even do it. <laughs> why? That one Viking person was, like, there, ready to go. And that's why I went over to the side, because they were obviously there to go do it, and then they didn't do it. That was weird. Also, why is both red and yellow already ready to block us? Like, I think we won already. It's over. We won? Yeah, we won. It's over. Let's go help yellow. Don't stop yellow. Help him. We can win quicker. Okay, now we're going to have to sit here. Though I guess that's a good thing. I'm going to go take Tribute. We got time now. Since they blocked. I guess that was kind of good that our team blocked then. <laughs> Give me time to go grab this real quick. And we'll grab that. Get our 13 gems for the other game that we'll be using this Friday for the video. And there we go. And we're back. And they still haven't won somehow. Gosh, that block. Yellow team did some really good blocking there. <laughs> it was there for at least six seconds, if not longer. Probably there much longer. Okay, this good should go to final. Unless we get a really annoying 5 on 5 tail tag. Or, you know, a 5 uh, tail, tail tag. But uh, hopefully just jump uh, showdown. I'm going to have some fun, fun grab competitions. Let's use all that practice that we got. Yeah. Let's use all that practice on that one um, on that one big fans that eliminated us because we were trolling too hard. Let's use excuse me, everything we learned on that stage to destroy everyone. Sounds like a game plan. Let me move my mic over a little bit so I can see a bit better. 
Gotta see those grabs when they happen by other people. So we know who's suspicious. Does Hexagon have any variations? No. Uh, the only final that has any variations is Fall Mountain. No other final other than Fall Mountain has variations. Oh, so I just jumped over to the smaller side. I'm not sure why I did that. I'm out. <laughs> we're all out. We saw that going down. It was like, nope. We're all bailing. It was already a bad place to be, and that just made it even worse. Okay, the guy that was still on that tile technically could have stayed, though. Oh, now they wouldn't have. Oh, gosh, we just got boosted up. Okay, is this going to be a double tile, or is this going to be a double single? Double single it is. Oh, gosh, we're in a more populated one. I'm not sure why that one guy did the jump. He was obviously going to die if he did that. He, like, literally jumped over to Rod and then <laughs> let the Rod hit him off. Hey, that guy almost got a solo tile there. I kind of want to kill this one ninja guy. But I don't want to mark myself as a grabber yet. Too early. Okay, that one's somewhat decenter. <laughs> decenter. Oh, it would help if I jump. <laughs> Hello. I failed that miserably. Goodbye. Next. Okay. Try it again. Next. Hello. I see you're trying to stay in a very safe location. It would be a shame if I took that safe location. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'll let those two duke it out. I'm not going to jump over there to kill them both. Let's take our solo tile. We want our solo tile. Let's use our solo tile for some time. I could jump over there and kill one of them if I want to, but uh, I don't think it's worth risking. I think we're just going to out-jump at this point. If nothing else, we could test the fix that they did to Jump Showdown. Apparently, they made it so you lose less A inputs, apparently. I haven't really gotten to test that down. Uh, we could try jumping over, but I think we're going to do a Jump Showdown competition with him. We're not going to bother grabbing him. Let the best jumper win. Also, if I need to, I can bail to his tile. Which gives us an extra safety measure. I don't think I'm going to bother doing that, though. Once it goes, start going super quick, you can kind of get the timing for it. <gasps> like right there. Ooh. It's kind of sketchy. Come on, fall, please. You know you want to. It's called Fall, guys. Please fall. You're even wearing the falling outfit. The falling superhero. Be a superhero and save us with a fall. Give us that free crown. Please fall today. Easy. Outplayed. <laughs> Purely outplayed. <laughs> Superhero versus Godzilla. Godzilla wins. Okay, let's go get our 400th crown. It's 400th crown time. It is 400th crown time. We'll get it as Godzilla, might as well. It's a pretty cool skin. Uh, let's see. Final stages today, 20. Gosh, we had a lot of finals today. Uh, total crowns, 399. One more to go. And Wednesday, 10. Hey, we hit double digit Wednesday as well. And then we'll be double one once we get our 400th win. Yeah, let's go get this crown. Yeah, 50% win rate. Exact 50%. That's generally what we're aiming for on most days. Anything above 20% win rate's already really good, though. Based on how many people are normally in a final. Like, even 10% win rate in many instances could be considered decent. But anything 20% or above is really good. Anything like 50% or above is, like, uh, insanely good. And infallible rate's like 80%. We have had days with over 80% win rate. It's very exceedingly rare, though. He's got to get a lot, a little bit of luck side by side. But yeah, any day we can hit over 50%, I'm pretty happy with. 
if I cannot fail. I almost failed that jump. I seriously feel like you are heavier on this stage. I'm not sure what it is about this stage, but you feel like at least like 50 pounds heavier. <laughs> like how much quicker you fall. So there's something about it. I'm not sure if it's just less optimized and just slightly laggier or something. But you definitely feel heavier on this stage. Or it might just be how they're moving the tiles. Or maybe they coded weight a little bit weirdly for the stage. Because there is a weight stat in this game. But every bean has the same and every costume has the same. And every stage should have the same. I don't think any stage has a different weight stat. It sure feels like it, though. I'm not going to troll this time. We had our fun trolling in the past. Let's go take a free win. <laughs> win one game, quit, and then you got 100%. I know, right? Oh, you can jump on that? Oh, we just learned something new. Thank you, Goblin. I did not realize you could jump on that circle and stay there. I'm not sure why you would want to, but apparently you can. Thank you for the new info. Let's see if he actually wins. He started all the way from the end, and he might actually win. I think he's just messing around with the physics of the stage. He knows people are so slow. But yeah, you can jump on the middle. That does not look like it would be jumpable. That's such a large hitbox for being a circle. <laughs> I like how nothing actually has like a circular hitbox in this game for the most part, except for I think like the balls and stuff. Like they're almost all squares. <laughs> or rectangles. You any exception to that or like all the fruit and the balls that like can happen on some stage? But for whatever reason, like every other object is like a square. I'm not sure why they don't make it a circle though. It is quite obviously a circle. <laughs> He's just super trolling at this point. He's probably still going to qualify too, which is really funny. Oh, I tried doing it for the smaller one. It's going to be harder because it's a smaller path for the middle. They can still jump over to it. I think the camera angle keeps changing too. It doesn't change for him, but as an observer, you can kind of ruin your camera angle. Every single time. Gosh, stop. I'm not sure what this goblin is doing. If he doesn't start trying to win now, he's not going to win. Okay, he's not going to win. Oh, it timed out, actually. 32 out of 42. We have yet to have a first version of that where everyone qualified. Every single time we've had that stage is the first version. Uh, we have yet to get all the people qualified for it. We've had 25. We've had 29 twice. We just got 31. When it's like a 40-something qualify number. The second stage we have had everyone uh, qualify in. But on the first stage variant of it, we have yet to ever see everyone qualify. Probably because a lot of people are playing it for the first time today. Obviously, we played it multiple times. But even on our first time, we still made like fifth place or something. Or something pretty bad. It might have even been first. I don't remember. I have to check back all the way at the beginning of the stream. But I definitely won quite comfortably. Cup of Legends. I think we only lost this once today. Couldn't find a gold ring. Failed a lot of jumps towards the middle. Oh yeah, we got one set of axes. Where's the gold ring? Okay, it's all the way on the side. I'm gonna go for normal rings. Gold ring's too far to the side. Oh, it's on my side though. Hold up. I lied. I'm going for the gold ring. It's too close to my side to not go for it. Oh gosh, I need these people to move. Give me my one ring. <laughs> Come on, there's still a window for it. No, I couldn't get the jump. Ah. Okay, I can still get this. Just need a nice angle. And everyone to move. No! Okay, I'm still contesting this. No, everyone's moving in my way! Okay, we can still get this. It's still very much possible. I just need everyone to be off this tile. There's too many people huddling on it. Come on, I needed to jump. Yes! Got it! Okay, we got it. Easy. We got the first gold ring. Please don't take it. Don't take it. No, I wanted the free win. Okay, we just got to find it. We easily won, but please, any ring. It doesn't matter what ring. Just give me a ring, please. Gold ring. Hello. I don't even need it. I'm just going to steal it from you guys because we can. 
No, I failed. I was trying to go for it too quickly. Okay, let me just find a normal ring so we can win already. Just for one ages ago. Oh, I'll steal this gold ring, I guess. Or not. Please, any ring donation. Thank you. Thank you, stage. <laughs> Spawn one right on top of us. There we go. And now we wait. I still don't know how to properly make it from there. There's a consistent method to always do it. I think you just have to jump all the way at the ledge or something. You can also do a weird jump like near the ledge where it like boosts you forward. That's a really hard jump to make. Because if you jump off of a ledge, it like does a forward momentum. Kind of like uh, when you jump off a hill downwards. But you have to hit at like just the right angle. Otherwise you just fall to the ground on the level below. And you don't get the uh, momentum forward or to jump. We don't always take forever to get the extra point. It really depends where we're taking the gold ring from. Because the main reason why it can sometimes take a while is if we're going for a gold ring that's super contested, there's already like eight plus people there. So once we start dispersing, we're fighting with all those people for all the other rings around. But if we just snipe a gold ring where it's just like from the middle, we can normally get a follow-up ring very quick. Wait, you can jump from the other side to grab that? I did not realize that. Interesting. I learned something new. I learned two things this round already. I learned that those circles are squares on the new fan uh, game. And um, you can actually jump the, uh, grab the other side of those uh, panels. I did not realize that. That'd be really good if it was super crowded. Because it would guarantee you a top spot. Though your grabs would probably be eaten by the fact that there's people standing there. But if you can actually get a grab on it, it would actually guarantee you a top spot. Because the game automatically forces you onto the tile when you do a grab from a ledge. Even if there's not space to put you anywhere, it still manages to put you there. You see it a lot on wall guys. Where if someone grabs a ledge and they move up. Um, even if there's someone standing right over top where they're moving to, they'll still get up. Because it forces you onto the tile. Because the person who's grabbing and moving up onto the grab, or you know, onto the platform has priority. And they basically have no hitbox as they're doing the animation to move up. Probably because there'd be some weird interactions in the game if they didn't do that, if it actually had a hitbox. Because basically, once you get the grab, you're guaranteed to get up at that point. I should grab him. Easy. I eat his grab inputs. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done it further back. We saw that he failed it too. Okay, you gotta do this, but you gotta do it slightly further back. Like that. Easy. Alright, where's our win? Is that possible? It is. Okay, I'm gonna take the closer one just in case. I'm pretty sure the other one can make it too, but <laughs> just in case it can't, we'll take a free win. Easy. You laugh so much today, your stomach hurts. <laughs> I think the funniest one so far was the single tiptoe we had. Or actually, we had two tiptoes. But the second tiptoe, where we had the little small hammer at the bottom. And then we instantly won because it was a straight path. And it just literally yeeted us right into the win. That was pretty funny. That was probably the best new stage so far. <laughs> as far as the highest enjoyment. The other one that was pretty high enjoyment, though we only seen it one time, is the new version of... Um, of uh, memory match perfect match only four people survived and we were not one of them <laughs> by the end of the perfect match with the spinner four people lived i really want to get that stage again because you can literally use it as a final it's basically jump showdown combined with memory match yeah the new perfect match was insane i hope we get it again they lowered its frequency though Hello, Manor. Please stop spamming. But welcome. Yeah, I got hit really far on the memory match one. I was not expecting my grab to hit me off that far. Like, I knew we would get hit back some, but it just completely hit us off the course. Okay, I can't contest that other ball. Hopefully they can... What on earth just happened with that? Physics. Calm yourself. Oh, 
Yep, that was a slight fail. You gotta pass over to him, though. What's even going on right now? Like, at least it's on their side. Well, that one is. The other one, not so much. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, I almost just helped them. No! Okay, I'm going full offense on this ball. Gotta get a score. Good. We got it. The other ball's kind of sketchy, though. Okay, where's it dropping? Okay, we don't have control over that. Where's the other ball go? Oh, there it is. Hey, right, come on. One more get get one more score and then we can just defend the rest of the time. Does someone score? Oh no! It got over us. That's bad. <gasps> it's even worse. Oh gosh, we gotta get a score. No, we lost! Ah, oh, no! No! It hurts. Oh, of course, it's a team game. <laughs> of course, we'd lose on the team game. Of all the stages, it would be a team game. I think that's our fifth loss today. The only uh, fifth one uh, that we didn't qualify on. Half of them have been team games. <laughs> one of them was us timing out the new fan page. Or the new fan um, uh, uh, mini game. Not because we wouldn't have been able to win, but because we were trolling people for too long. <laughs> I really want to see the new memory match again. That was a lot of fun. I want to see a win. I want to eventually get a crown on that stage. It's basically just jump showdown with a timer. If you could kill every last person on it within the timer. Combined with a little bit of memory match. How do you get gold on the memory match game? You just survive. Every survival minigame, all you have to do to get gold is just not die. It's actually the easiest stages to get gold on. Oh gosh, what on earth just happened there? One guy like spazzed over the place. Luke stayed completely still, but spazzed over the place at the gate itself. Hot dog went flying. Middle path. Oh, I should easily qualify here. I like it would have been much of an issue. It's the first stage version of this. Second stage version of this can be a little vicious. The first stage version is normally pretty straightforward. As long as you don't get hit, like, really far back. Yo, we've been having a lot of people today ask for Among Us. We only ever played it once and it was on Halloween. We'll eventually do a dedicated stream to it, though. Eventually. At some point. Hopefully by the end this year. Possibly not. <laughs> But we'll see.
probably why I'm on Nepal. There's no point in being on Nepal on this stage. Because there is no middle. It's like an anti pole stage. Oh, I wanted to go for the- No! Oh, I wanted to go for the respawn. But uh, people didn't make the tile go down far enough. We wasted like three seconds. Oh, I was trying to go for first and now we got like 10th. <laughs> at least we're not in a herded location yet. Like we're still not so far back that we're gonna get herded at any point. I don't think we are. I might be ever so slightly too far back though. Let's see which side is getting pushed further. Uh, looks like about even actually. But the side was better. Yeah, it looks like we get 7. Still top 20%. I think I have a 90% death rate of dying first in Among Us as a crewmate. Because everyone keeps not stream sniping us, but because we're the one who is hosting it. Like, everyone attacked us first. <laughs> but yeah, as we were a crewmate, we had about a 90% die first rate. Almost feel like trying a random lobby just to see what it's like. Just to know what it's like not to die first as a crewmate. I think we've seen every variant for this stage. We've seen side hammers like every single time. That might even just be default now. We've seen it literally every single time now. Um, we've seen banana only. We've seen watermelon only. We've seen blueberry, strawberry only. Which fires at a pretty rapid pace. And we've seen normal with uh, side hammers. I think that's every possible variant. Right now we have watermelon only. Which is nowhere near as annoying as uh, banana only. Bananas are by far the hardest. It's not even close. They're like a tear of their own. They're so vicious. Oh, that guy got a good hammer. If he was behind, he really caught up. Oh gosh, I actually got hit by water. I think we still qualify though. That would have been awful if that made us not qualify. I think we're fine though. Oh, so I think that's a fake default skin right there. He's playing pretty good. Oh gosh, that hot dog. I think he gave up. I was trying for the hammer. He can't even reach the hammer. I hope he realizes he can't jump over there. There's an invisible wall. You gotta go down and then go on it. And time it just right. I wonder if I can make it all the way to the top. I haven't seen it go all the way to the top yet. But you could probably get a really good angle. Like, you gotta go move up some. Run down the slope. Get a perfect timing. And then you go with so much momentum. That it hits you all the way up. That might be a thing. It's a good backup plan strategy. We haven't needed to use it yet. Though we did lose one, but it was a banana one. It was like unredeemable even with the with the hit. Like okay, a rock and roll. We haven't lost this yet today. Though it is a team game, so we could easily lose at any point. No variants, oddly enough. Uh, red team would be the safest way to win. Yellow team is the second worst. Blue is the worst. Blue is worse because of its spawn location. Yellow is just the worst because it's yellow. So why is my team not pushing, please? Please push. Distribute the push evenly. Stop pushing it on the wall. Come on, guys. What are you guys doing? I should have just kept pushing. They're being so bad with it. What are they doing? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, what was that one guy doing? The toucan? That was so weird. I think he just went down, but he did it in a way where it moved our ball. Grab him, grab him. All right, we got a block red. I think we won. Our ball's pretty far down. Oh, why would my own teammate do that? Physics would be weird. Okay, we won. It's over. I think it's the first time all day we didn't have the first ball in. Oh, he's still qualified.
Okay, Fall Mountain. Will Fall Mountain be our uh, 400th crown? Everything's on the line for the 400th crown. We got uh, 12 other people. Well, 11 other. 12 total. We got nearly every variant. Except no End Hammer. And no Yetus. No Yetus is good, so no one can catch up. Uh, but no End Hammer. So if we aren't absolute front running, we lose. Is what that means. We have to 100% be front running this. No, I should have taken the side there. Gosh, that one guy. He's being so bad that he's getting in our way. <sighs> okay, I think we're okay. We seem okay. So the other side's going slightly quicker than us. But not by much. Not by much at all. Okay, that default guy is definitely not a real default. He's doing way too good. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for next crown cycle. <gasps> no, we're gonna have to wait for next crown cycle. Yes, 400 crown. We did it. It has been done. 400 crowns. That was a really sketchy win though. We were sitting there forever. I think we might have been able to make that jump. I wasn't gonna risk it though. Like the first cycle. Oh, there we go. And we have like, uh, gosh, we have 127 spare crowns after owning everything in the game. And 33, uh, 330,000 uh, kudos. That is a lot of spares. But let's go update our numbers. 500 is stream? No. <laughs> you know how long another 100 crowns would take? Like the number of days. Uh, let's see, let's update over our numbers. So we had 21 finals today. We have 400 crowns, of course. The big 4-0-0. And we won 11 times, obviously. But uh, there we go. That is the full breakdown. I like five more minutes. No. <laughs> I wish we could get 100 crowns in five minutes. Could you imagine how broken that would be? But uh, I think we are going to call it here. If anyone has any questions, comments, things to mention. Otherwise, um, yeah, that's the new patch for Fall Guys. Pretty fun. I like a lot of new variants. I wish we could get some of those variants a little bit more often, though. Um, I, I it feels weird, but I actually want to see Perfect Match. Now that it made it a lot less frequent, I actually want to see it. Because the new variant of it just made it from like one of the worst stages in the game to one of the best very quickly. It's basically an alternative final now. It's a final that doesn't occur as the final. Um, so it has a lot of potential moving forward. Uh, but now the frequency is so ridiculously rare. We saw it twice in like six hours. <laughs> And only one of them was specifically the good variant. The other one was still the normal useless one. But uh, yeah, I'll do Fall Guys again this uh, week. Uh, either tomorrow or Thursday. Probably do it tomorrow. Not sure how long, but uh, we'll definitely mess with it. I love these new variants. A lot of really fun ones out there. And we haven't even gotten every variant yet, I don't believe. Uh, like, for example, I know for sure we haven't gotten the fruit version of Jump Club. And uh, there's a few others still that we haven't seen. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, definitely a lot of great variation. A lot of great changes that they did with the update. And next season is only uh, uh, 26 days away, so that's pretty close. And obviously we'll be doing that quite extensively and doing the battle pass within like a few days like we did last time for this season. And uh, who knows, maybe we could try getting it done in a single day. If I have time on whatever day that is, we might do it. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have that much time on that given day, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, thank you everyone for stopping by. Greatly appreciated. Uh, thanks for having fun and uh, sticking around. And uh, yeah, we'll do it again tomorrow for some amount of time. Probably start around noonish or so and uh, go for a little bit. Anyways, guys, uh, best of luck with everything. We'll catch you guys later, and goodbye, everyone.